And we're live! Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, Friday edition, uh, where we play new games on classic systems. And my co-host will be here in just a second. Uh, we're just setting up still. Um, welcome to everybody that is watching live on Twitch. We've got a very fun show for you today, full of puzzle games, which are... Tanya's favorite. We'll wait for her to get in here before we talk about those. And I also, if you've noticed, I'm looking directly at you rather than off to the side because we've moved the camera to more center. So hopefully it'll make more sense than always us looking off to the side at the game. And instead we can just look up, straight up, and it's more like we're talking to you instead of, you know, talking off to the side. I think it Hopefully it makes it look a little better out there. Um, yeah, we've had some big announcements. You know, I think we did most of them last week. Of course, the 2018 Atari Awards. Huge announcement. And we're going to celebrate everything homebrew that was put out in 2018. You know, work in progress games, released games, demos. Uh, what else? All the games. And in different categories. Um, kind of like the Oscars for homebrew. Um, we're gonna have best graphics, you know, um, some, some sort of best sound music category, best overall game, um, best packaging, you know, all the graphics that go along outside of the game, you know, the, the cartridge covers, the, the manuals, the boxes, everything that, you know, promotional material for the game. Um, and tons of other categories we've posted in the Atari Age forums. So you can jump in there and give your suggestions. Maybe we've made some, missed some games too that should be on the list that we didn't quite pick up on in 2018. Maybe a work in progress game that flew under the radar. We have promo um, posted a preliminary list and Arena Foot is on that. So he's going to be adding... Uh, and I'm going to be adding games as people uh, let us know. But there's a pretty good list there to kind of, um, you know, sink your teeth into. So that you can know what kind of games are uh, on the list. Yeah, trophies and tuxes, Arena Foot says. Yeah, so when we broadcast the show, I'm going to be all dressed up nicely. With a nice, you know, graphics displays. You know, like on the uh, Oscars where they say, and the nominees are... And so I'm going to switch to a video screen of, you know, how they play a bit of the movie. Well, we're going to play a bit of the game. And we're also going to have live video of people uh, accepting the awards as well. Or recorded video if they're a bit shy or they want to read it off or something like that. And uh, cats are just being corralled right now so they don't get in trouble. They almost got him. Yeah, almost got the cat. It's going to run away. Oh. Okay. We have a little bit of a sick cat today, which is very sad, but he's getting better. So that's a good thing. Um, what else do we have? Oh, well, besides puzzle games, let me just go. Um, well, I want to thank all the people in the chat so far here. Uh, Mr. Fix, Arena Foot, Ice Bosta, um, some Atari Spot as well. And of course... As you can see on the screen, oh, the camera's a bit, the camera's a bit high. Oh, I just have to sit up. Come on in. Yes. I need a co-host. <laughs> Sorry. It's very difficult doing it by I'm myself. Cat wrangling. Oh, so. Drexel's in the chat. Hey, Drexel. Hi. <laughs> camera's in the center. Oh. Ooh. So it's, we're not looking off to the side. Thank you. Much better. Yeah, I never like the distortion to the one side. Yes. Uh, uh, camera's a bit high. Camera's pointed a bit high, but I can fix that in a bit. It's not too bad. And I want to thank our Twitch subscribers, which I now have on the screen, nice. which is nice to thank them for uh, supporting the show. We have Adaman, Atari Spot, A Tasty Sandwich, Carcass, Ground Trooper, Jeffrey2123, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Soundtrack78, and Tiki Dan K. And Atari Spot's putting some little uh, graphic <laughs> icons in there. Woo! Sub hype! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Drexel, to the game. To the game to the, the show. show and the games <laughs> and um you can uh support the show too if you have 
your Amazon Prime, Prime mm -hmm. account, which link, link to your Twitch Prime, <laughs> and it's free. You just click subscribe and it supports the show, and we can buy more um, cartridges Excellent. to show you <laughs> on the stream. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, I already talked about the Atari Awards. Very exciting. Yes, very exciting. Are you going to dress up for those and help me out? Uh, sure, them? I'll, I'll, yeah. Excellent. Any excuse to buy a new dress. And, um, and the Atari Awards are presented by Zero Page Homebrew, uh, the Atari 2600 Homebrew Companion, set of books, which is Arena Foots books. Lovely. Brian Mather. And, of course, Atari Age. The great uh, people at Atari Age. But, of course, we're not just limiting it to games that released through Atari Age. It's for any Atari 2600 homebrew that came out or was released in 2018 so every atari 2600 homebrew so we want to uh talk about them all and celebrate them mm -hmm. all and give the best ones the awards yes <laughs> um yes actual physical awards we're gonna do some kind of physical mm -hmm. award so it you know it's nice to have those mm -hmm. you know you can put it up on your shelf mm -hmm. hopefully we'll be able to write the person's name as well in it and mm -hmm. what they want it for but we have to look into that and see how feasible it is, how expensive it is, all of that. So Logistics still could be worked out. Lots yeah. of logistics, <laughs> but we, we're too excited. We had to announce it early. Mm -hmm. And we still have lots of time before even the nominees are announced. And that'll be January 1st. And then all of you can vote on it. It's viewer's choice for that. And we'll probably have like 10 to 15 nominees per category. Excellent. Yeah. So... Um, there's another thing I wanted to announce at the top of the show. It's something I can kind of talk about right now, partly. Um, let me put up the graphic for that. Um, it is something called, oh, I got to switch it over to the Uno cart. And probably not, not a lot of people know about the Uno cart yet. And I know very little because I only heard about it just a little while ago um, this is kind of equivalent similar to the harmony cart but used with um, all open source components and also a little bit uh, less expensive components so that and also you can put it together yourself like it's got all the schematics you can buy all the pieces and put it together yourself. It doesn't have all the capabilities of the Harmony Cart. It doesn't have as much um, RAM, I believe, and it doesn't support everything that the Harmony Cart supports. Like it doesn't support uh, Pitfall 2. Mm -hmm. it doesn't do DP DPC, DPC Plus. Mm -hmm. It's kind of its own thing. And so far, it's, it's mostly used as a, a multi-cart. Like it, is, it supports, <coughs> we had some spicy food tonight and I don't have a drink. <laughs> um, it uh, supports SD cards. So mostly people are using it as an inexpensive alternative mm. um, to load games on homebrew, um, old 80s, 90s, 2600 games um, as an inexpensive alternative. I think it's 40 five dollars us mm. plus shipping that's pretty good or 40 don't quote me on that <laughs> um and it depends who you're buying it from too because there's multiple places you can buy it from because anybody can make it and put their own case on it and do whatever mm. um but so let me just tell you a little bit about it um it was created by electro Tra electro trains who first posted about it uh, in the Atari Age forums in January of this year. Mm -hmm. um, he says, some of you may know me from the Atari 8-bit forum. I designed a couple of open source multi-carts for the 8-bit, uh, the Uno cart and Ultimate cart. Uh, da -da -da -da. Over the last couple of weeks, I've been bu busy building a version of the Uno cart for the Atari 2600. Uno cart 2600. Like the Uno cart, or Uno, Uno? I'm going to say Uno, I think. Just uh, like the I card game? I think the card game, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Uno cart. Um, let's see, uh, this is something you can build yourself with minimal soldering. It just requires an off the shelf, just off the shelf STM 34F4. You know, they're lying around all over the place, but mm. I'm sure it's something you can just buy online. A uh, discovery board, an SD card breakout board, and a breakout board for the Atari 2600 cartridge slot because it plugs in just like the Harmony cart into your 2600. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, every thing can be hooked up with jumper wires. Uh, the source, uh, co source code, firmware, breakout PCB design, and a very rough building instructions are on the new GitHub page for the project. I'm sure it's progressed a lot since then. And it says from the GitHub, the Uno Cart 2600 can emulate most banking schemes with ROM sizes up to 64K and RAM sizes up to 32K. Um, and I'm pretty sure, I, I'm certain, that the Harmony Cart does way more than that. And the Atar Atar Harmony Encore does even more. Mm. Uh, Pitfall 2 works? Oh, okay. Uh, just not Atari Age, DPC Plus, and newer. Interesting. Okay, so apparently they have got Pitfall 2 working on it, according to Ice Posta. Mm. Um, so that's that's good. So pretty much all the old school games Will can play. now work on it mm. that were released. And there's a big list of all the supported cartridge types, which now pretty much encompasses every old game. Mm. And, um, and let's see. Yeah, because at the bottom it says, not supported, Activision T DSP used by Pitfall 2, but looks like possibly uh, they added that and supercharger games so that's pretty much everything mm -hmm. and I just ordered mine um, the other day yesterday um, from uh, McRory uh, who, McRory on the Atari age forums uh, whose website is the Brewing Academy mm. and that's what those pictures those pictures those pictures those pictures <laughs> are of uh, there's three different uh, cart designs yeah that you can pick from there <laughs> classic or silver or black label nice. um, yes yeah, so you can pick there one of those and, <laughs> and they're coming with new firmware so probably the new firmware supports the pitfall 2 mm. and supercharger but um, I haven't seen that so but that's leading up to the news that I'm talking about anybody can buy those but they're Somebody contacted me recently, a couple of weeks ago, and I didn't want to announce it till I know that I had ordered the Uno cart. Mm. Somebody is making a purpose-built game that only works on the Uno cart. Interesting. So it uses the specific hardware, just like games use the Harmony carts, specific hardware, the DPC Plus, etc. Onwards, um, and it uses the processor on board to do very special things. Mm. So somebody has contacted me. I can't say who it is or even what the name of the game is because I've been sworn to secrecy like per <laughs> usual. Yes. <laughs> All in due time. But it is a very interesting game and it should be really, really, really fun. Cool. And um, it kind of is like another game that people really like. Um, so Deliberately vague. <laughs> I have to be. It's difficult because <laughs> I want to tell everyone, but I can't tell them yet. Mm. Um, but it will probably in the next couple of weeks, I'll be able to show it mm. um, an early work in progress version of the game. Um, it does not work on the Harmony cart and it does not work in Stella. So the only way you can play this game, if he releases a binary for the demo of that he's working on, you have to have an Uno card. I tried loading it and Stella just goes and then just garbage on the just, screen. Oh, okay. It just doesn't understand because Stella doesn't... It's um, not on the... Yeah. It's not doesn't support the infrastructure okay. of the Uno card yet. I'm sure that there's some talks already yeah. happening for that because that would be obviously much easier for development um, mm -hmm. if Stella supported it and you could emulate it on the computer. Of course. So that is the big non-news. Non news. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's hard. It's hard. Yeah. <laughs> and, oh, and of course, I don't think it was announced. I think I announced it online between... Anyway, Wizard of War Arcade is coming soon mm -hmm. to Zero Page Homebrew. Uh, we'll be able to exclusively debut video and play like we'll be playing wizard of war and that is one of my favorite games from back in the day mm -hmm. and it is a two-player game so we can play it cooperatively Excellent. it's like a a maze shooter game um with aliens and things that disappear and reappear and oh my god it's it's so good uh i don't think some part of it has been announced so i can't say that part mm -hmm. um but one part of it that is very exciting is that it will it will be the first game, yet another first, 
first game to support the Atari Vox plus two players. Because normally, the Atari Vox takes up the second port, mm -hmm. right? And then you're left with just one port for a joystick. <clears throat> mm -hmm. But it is Nathan Strom. Oh my God, I hope I'm not getting this wrong. Um, is de has <laughs> developed, because I, I don't have my notes in front of me, uh, has developed a splitter. So you plug the splitter oh. into port one of the joystick port. And you can play it with you, two players. You can play with two players. Very cool. So the Atari Vox still works. So it still it still has the one still port. Still has audio. It still saves your high score. Wow. And That's awesome. Furthering that kind of thought, no, no game has been made yet, but you could make a four-player joystick game with two of these splitters, right? Yeah. You plug it one into one. Port well, one and one, one into port, port two. two. Yeah. And you can and never has been done before on Atari twenty six hundred a four player game yeah. with joystick. They've done paddles because two paddles plug it in. Yes. Nathan Tolbert. What did I say? I said something wrong. <laughs> anyway, Nathan Tolbert splitter. Yes. Yeah. Um, Tolbert or to Tolbert. Tol Tolbert. You, well, Depen it's like depends it's, if it's French um, or Americanized. Col Colbert or Colbert. So. Yes, that's <laughs> <There> right. <you> <laughs> Isn't he working on a jo four player joust? Uh, there was something oh, about a four player yeah. joust, but I don't think it's been like announced mm. like further than a long then time it's ago. In development, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was in development, so. That's something to look forward to. That's going to be very, a lot of things on the you'll screen. You'll have on to, on, you'll on have joust. to bring all your hosts in to play a four. <laughs> oh game. yes, that would be fun. We'll have to yeah. do that on a Friday. On a Friday, I think. Every second Friday with yeah. Darcy, bring you in. <laughs> yep. Erlen. Mm -hmm. Yep. That would be very very fun. Um, so that's all the big news, and I oh, and the. If you're going to Portland Retro Gaming Expo, mm -hmm. you'll also be able to play Wizard of War Arcade. That's the first time it'll be publicly available to play. So for demo, or is for, it for, to, not to buy, but for Not demo? to buy. No, they said it'll be released uh, early 2019. Okay. Yes, yeah, so... That's cool. It'll be up available to be it'll a be Work on, in Progress Award for the 2018 the, yeah, awards, uh, but the, not a full. At the Atari Age booth? Yes. yes. Yeah, I'll be at the Atari Age booth, so just drop on by there and say hi to mm -hmm. Al. And, and oh, also, yeah, um, uh, oh, Mike, oh, the Champ, Champ, Champ Games will be there. Okay. And his name is out of my mind now. <laughs> Who's developing <laughs> Wizard of War? Mm -hmm. um, he'll be there, so you can. Um, I'm terrible with names. Terrible. <laughs> so please get used to me <laughs> messing up names all the time. Uh, John Champo. There, that's because it's only part of his name. John Champo. Champo yeah. or yeah. Champo? Champo. See another one of the French. Well, it depends. French... Depends if you French, if you if you put the French accent on it. Yes. Or not, right. So uh, I'm gonna yeah. go for John Champo. Yeah. There we go. Um, the splitter is an Atari Age store. The the splitter is a nothing right now, mm -hmm. but I'm guessing it's either going to be a pack in with the game. I would expect it would be. It would have to be. Or like or an add on. That you can oh, order with the game. Okay. So I, because you you don't have to. But have it doesn't it to play. exist yet. I guess is the question. The splitter. The splitter isn't out for for sale. No, or he developed it, so okay. it's not for sale. There, not yet. There was a splitter back in the day, mm -hmm. um, but they would probably re remake those splitters because they're just not available. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. But so true. it will be an Atari Age store thing, and mm -hmm. as, along with Wizard of War Arcade. Because there was a Wizard of War for the 2600 in, mm. in the, you know, back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate saying back in the day so much, but because I can't, I don't know which games exactly were released in the 80s or 90s. So maybe I could say 80s or 90s, <laughs> but they did release a Wizard of War. It was a flickery, flickery mess. Mm. And the new one, which I'm playtesting is mm, beautiful. Mm. So nice. So much better. Um, but today, as I announced at the top, we're playing. This is an all puzzle special uh, show just for you. We're playing all puzzles Excellent. today. We're gonna have five puzzle games. Um, Stratagems Deluxe okay. came out in 2005 by John Payson. Chunk Out 2009 by James Todd. Excellent. 2048 came out in 2014 by Chester BR. I think I might have played that on a phone. That's a very well-known <laughs> yeah. game. Very, very well <laughs> I known. I have that. I th have that on my phone. Uh, three Dots. I always thought it was 
pronounced three dot s because it's three then a dot and, and then an, an s, s but, it's, but three it's three dots, dots. gotcha and that's uh by thomas yentz another game we seem to be playing his games every <laughs> week he has a lot of games that he's he has developed a lot of games then and that was 2014 and, and i don't i want to get pronounced this right uh because i looked up the pronunciation just for the show uh da, 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 da. one second Chetaria. 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 Chetaria? It's, it's a Russian name. Chetaria. Chetaria. By Chris Walton, uh, Zach Matley, and nice. Fred Quimby. Uh, released in 2012. And they just released the ROM online. Okay. Because I don't own the game. That'll be in my next purchase, probably in Portland. Yeah. Um, of the cartridge. Mm. And it actually doesn't fully work without the cartridge. It's one of those games that absolutely needs the a special hardware in, in the, the cartridge. cartridge. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. So the first game we're going to play is Stratagems Deluxe, which I do have the cartridge of. Excellent. So there's the manual. It's always, it's always fun to have the cartridge. It is. Do you want to start or do you want me to get you some water? Uh, <clears throat> I'm actually over it now. I'm okay. fine. So this is uh, Stratagems mm. Deluxe. There we go. Oh, oh, look away. Cover your face. There we go. <laughs> Stratagems Deluxe. There we go. Nice. So let's pop that in. Someday I want you to edit footage of, of oh. all the clips of us covering our face as you hold the cartridge up to the camera because i think that would be quite <laughs> that would be quite funny that would be yeah oh. <laughs> oh that screen doesn't work very well oh so push up for pal pull down for ntsc there we go oh whoa that looks nice yeah wow wow Excellent. wow that looks like a gem drop game oh my goodness uh sorry everybody there we go absolute time waster that sounds that looks wonderful <laughs> <laughs> oh that's beautiful Oh my god, I haven't put this in yet. So here you go, you get first game. The guests always get first game. Uh, left, what? Okay. Difficulty? Okay, let me let me just read a little bit, because sure. we don't want to go on too blind. Oh, sorry, I have a bit of a cold. Actually, I'm going to run upstairs and get Kleenex. And a drink. <laughs> and a drink for you. And I will start will, talking, talking about this. You start talking about the game, and I will play it without having any clue what's going on. So, Stratagems Deluxe, which is Atari Vox Enhanced. Uh, copyright 2005, John Payson. Uh, for Don Elizabeth Payson, 1971 to 1999. Mm. Speak Jet Driver, courtesy Alex Albert Herbert. Okay, uh, object of the game in Stratagems Deluxe, color gems fall from the top of the screen in groups of three, and this game even has a demo of what's going on. Uh, and anytime three or more adjacent gems of the same color line up vertically, horizontally, or diagonally, diagonally, they will disappear, just like every game, kind of phone game you've seen ever. Uh, these create If these create new groups of three or more, those will disappear too, leading to chain reactions. Very, very standard. Oh, that's a bit of a kind of buggy there. Interesting. Don't hear anything, but usually these aren't uh, noisy till you start them up. There are eight types of gems. The first six appear as stable colors, red, yellow, green... Cyan, blue, or magenta. Actually, somebody said that my system messes up on the color timing. But eh, it does look a little weird here. Um, uh, as mentioned, getting three or more of these in a row of matching color will make them disappear. Uh, the next type of gem is the wild gem. These appear in threesomes and flash colors. Wild gems behave as a wild card and can compete... Move this stuff over for my drink. Thank you so much. It's a matching game. But I, they, well, that's, yeah. They do, I, I but they work that. Um, diagonally too, not just horizontally yeah. and vertically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a lot of games are like this. Um, so there you go. Go for it. Mm. Match them up. And the flashing ones are wild cards. That's the basics. So left, right. There was a rotate feature. Well, it's three. <laughs> Not much you can do, really, with ones that are uh, already three colors. Oh, yeah, you got a die. Oh, there we go. 
Uh, the last type of gems is a bomber gem. One of these will appear every 63rd group of gems to mark the completion of a level. If a bomber gem hits another gem, all gems of that color will disappear. If it hits the bottom of the screen, the bottom row will be replaced with wild gems. Wow. Possibly causing a chain reaction with other gems and awarding a special bonus. The maximum level number is 16. After every 63rd triplet, a bomber gem will appear as on all other levels, but there will be no further increase in scoring or difficulty. Oh, it's got a little nice little countdown. This is really colorful, it's detailed really, game. Yeah. Wow. Uh, in addition to showing the current set of gems, the game will display the next set of gems in the top right of the play field and the number of triplets, uh, triples remaining to the left. So you've got 44 more to go on this level. Uh, controls. As At startup, you may select uh, starting level 1 through 9 by pressing select. Begin the game by pressing reset or fire. To return to the level selection screen, press and hold reset or select for at least a second. Forgive me, this seems like uh, to be like a Tetris class game. Well, mm. it's more of a matching game because Tetris it's, is yeah. shapes. Yeah. Yeah, and that's that's the thing you need to... You need to make lines with Tetris. This you need to match three in a row. This is probably one of the most popular forms forms of the game is a matching game, yeah. whether it's colors or shapes or anything like that. Um, yeah, probably not the most exciting well, game to watch. Well, we have a lot of puzzle games, yeah. so <laughs> it's okay that uh, we only play these for a little bit. Oh no! Somebody. Um, some of the uh, programmers were noting that... See that little color Yes, there glitch? is a little color glitch there. They were saying that's my system. And really? There's some sort of weird timing with my system where... Ooh, wow, really did it there. That it's throwing it off somehow mm. in like more advanced color games. So it's really displaying it here, the issue. But it's not unplayable. Like, you can tell no, what the no, main color is. No, no, it's really not that bad. It just cuts off and also... Um, it kind of color cover... Um, like, if you look, depending on where it's... See there? That's yeah. another glitch. It's because it's it's drawing it... Like, you can see the bottom row there, where it has red, green, yellow on the right-hand side. Mm -hmm. It's drawing... It has... It changes the color on that line after it's drawn the first pixel of the yellow mm -hmm. it draws the yellow it's not yellow yet but that yellow ball and the first pixel and then it switches it ha that's the timing when it switches so there's something off either my system or the programming but it's probably my system so i'm sure they extensively tested this um where it's a, a pixel off so the bomber only destroys the color it hits um there's a yeah there's two said... types of things oh, two I types see. okay wild gem oh that's what it is that's just a wild, wild card it'll it'll match to anything gotcha okay you're gonna get the bomber gem in 13 more moves gotcha and then that one if that hits another gem all of that color disappears so probably a red would be good or you know, a cyan yeah, would be a good one. Yeah, whatever there's the most of. Yeah. yeah, or that makes the most combinations. Yeah. Uh, once the game has started, press left or right to steer the falling gems. Press down if desi desired to hasten their descent. Press fire to rotate the gems. Up or down, which we've already figured out. Uh, set the left difficulty switch according to your preference. Uh, so you can switch those out. If you want the button to drop and down to oh, switch. Oh, I see. Yeah. But I think down is makes a lot of sense. And that's the default. Yeah. It's kind of when you're playing Tetris or a okay. game like that. Okay. The next one is going to be uh, I see. the bomber. Bomber? Bomber gem. There we go. Nice. Oh, and am I on the cool. next level now? Yes. It's moving a little faster. Yeah. A little bit faster. I don't think there's no real difficulty mm -hmm. other than faster on this game. Yeah. Because 
you know, it's not like Tetris where it just throws you terrible pieces. I guess I could throw you pieces that don't match very well. Like it could send you a, like a green and there's nothing to match with. Oh, or it would send you all three different colors instead of two and a one, right? Yeah, but so that could make it's it probably pretty random. Yeah, it probably is. Let's see, that all makes sense. Scoring. The basic unit of scoring is the triple. Three gems in a row score one. Four in a row score two. Ooh, low scoring game. Five score three. Six, six score four, etc. A reaction involving a number of triples will award points according to the table on the following page. Yeah, if you get 10 triples, it's 200. It multiplies your score by 200. So more, the more combos, like you just got a two by, a two times. That was a one times or two times? I'll have to watch that. Two times 10. Hmm. When a gem is dropped, the value of the first reactions is multiplied by the level number. So you're on level two. If a reaction on level three produces two triplets, it will be worth three times 25. Oh. Two triplets, three times 25, okay, or 75 points. Okay. You're on level two. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll mul multiply your level by the number, the multiplier. And the multiplier for one triplet is 10. The multiplier for two triplets is 25. So it would be two times 10 if you just do, yeah, two times 10. For matching one color. Mm. It's not a fast-paced game, is it? <laughs> uh, can you start at higher levels? Yes, you can. Yeah, that's probably worth doing because yeah. it's pretty dull yeah. <laughs> at this level. Like, that's, not not that the game is let's dull. Let's start it again. Yeah. Oh, pause. Nice. How do you... It's just, it is. How do you restart? Very slow. Maybe you can't. You have to die. Oh, oh, no. Okay. There we go. You have to hold down reset. Okay. Oh. Colorblind people need not apply. Seven, eight, nine. <laughs> mm. Is that too fast? <laughs> That's maybe too fast. Eh? Ah, That's too fast. Too fast. For me. No, 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 no. It's not too fast. It just takes some getting used oh, and to. The, and the... The look of it changes too. Different type of gems. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's going a little too fast for the me. The scoring right? multiplier is limited to 99. So on level 99, that's the max. Oh, wow. If the player scores 1 million points, the last digit of the score counter will be incremented. Thus, a display score 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 will in reality be. One, two, three, four, <laughs> four, five, five. One million, two hundred thousand. Uh, so, the Stratagems cartridge actually contains three programs. Uh, Stratagems Deluxe PAL, Stratagems Deluxe NTSC, Stratagems Mini Game Edition, NTSC only. What is the mini game? The mini game version of the Stratagems Deluxe is quite similar. There are a few items of notes. There's no display of triples remaining. Uh, scoring is based on one point per triple. Maximum number, level number is nine rather than 16. Difficulty switches have no effect. No Atari Vox or instant replay support. The game only may only be paused via the reset button. He, that probably is a smaller version of the game. Mr. Fix says, go, go, go. <laughs> It's <laughs> pretty bad. Oh my gosh, it's get, so fast. You get like a slight pause. Oh. Oh, oh there you go. Oh. <laughs> no. It's fine. Let's go to five. No, no, that was fun. That was fun. Yeah? Yeah. Well, that's a quick game. That's how <laughs> you have a quick game. Ah. I, 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 you didn't let me pick up my wand. <laughs> what oh, are you sorry. Doing? <laughs> I can reset it. Wine! That's a that's probably a good balance, that one to start off with. It's nice it's nice to have a bit yeah, a bit of speed. 
I uh, so I love how at Port in Portland they have the Tetris um, championship championships. Yes. Oh my god. And you're watching god. the people play, and it's just like boom, oh boom, my god. Boom, boom, boom. They're just it falling. Is, it is so impressive. Like yeah. it really is. I'm angle the camera down now that there's a bit of time. I don't think my brain works at that speed. You know the no. speed that those those like world class players play at. Yeah, it is something else. You really have to be looking at what's ah what's coming up. You know what I mean? When you're playing at that level. Oh yeah. There we go. That's a little bit better. Oh, now it's what? crooked. Oh, that was weird. What happened? Uh, I moved something over and it changed color. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I'll have to see that in the replay. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, that's weird. It's like they're magical. <laughs> uh, it could be the color timing on my system again. No, but it was like it moved over and then switched colors, and then then really, yeah, that was a little bit strange. And it wasn't a wild card. No. Hmm. There is yeah. something called a wild gem. Uh, these appear in threesomes and flash colors, like yeah. that one. It that was not what it was. It wasn't was. That? No. Oh, okay. Hmm. So yeah, this is a really nice looking oh it's fun yeah it's nice. and it's, and it's, it's exactly that, what that, you expect right that simple gameplay for a gem matching game yeah like right? the phone it's games very right? very simple yeah and these have been around forever these types of games oh, okay the first finished game of stratagems was produced on an entry to the 4k mini game competition so i guess that's what that's why there's a um uh the yeah mini game edition so he included his his simple version of it. Uh, the gameplay was fully developed, though scoring differed from the later version. The game included a polished screen, title screen, but little else in the way of decoration. The deluxe version was then redeveloped to take advantage of the speech and memory ca capabilities of Richard Hutchinson's Atari Box. Supporting the re instant replay function required expansion of the game engine to support palette-based animation. Fortunately, the larger memory size allowed this other features to be accommodated with relative ease. Have you had a instant replay yet? It says mm. there's an instant replay. <laughs> if an Atari Vox or other EEPROM device is installed, Stratagems will show an instant replay. Pushing and holding the fire button during the instant replay <sighs> play will cause it to be repeated. So you haven't got one of those yet, have you? No. That must be like on a big score or something. Let me see if I can find when that happens. I haven't seen that mentioned. How it happens. Instant replay. No, it doesn't say how you get an instant replay. Yeah, it must be on a really good move. I'm not going to have any of those right now. <laughs> Way too so built up. To the top. It's probably like ten matches in a row or something. Uh -huh. Oh, it's over. That was fun. Do you want to play? Um, I'll play on a high level. Yeah, do one of the fast ones. The oh, fast there you ones. go. High score, combo depth zero. Mm. Mm. Uh oh, you can't. You can't do anything with the joystick. What do you oh. have to do? I was thinking like the joystick should be able to select the level too. That would be nice. Yeah. But. Uh, you know, as as time went on, like this was released mm -hmm. a little while back, uh, 2005, I think, 2005. And as homebrew has progressed, more and more people have used the menu in conjunction with the joystick. Okay. So that you almost never touch the, the actual buttons. system. Yeah. Well, I this, we're all used to that now with modern yes. games. I think that's and it's way more convenient to control from the joystick. But. Yeah. But yeah, I, that idea of having switches on the system. External, yeah. And having to walk over and push all the buttons. Long gone. It's like the TVs <laughs> with the dial channel channel turners. Yes, you know? it's, nobody gets it's up to like, do that uh, anymore. It's like, yeah. I remember being a, cha being a kid, Ugh. figuring out where I could sit on the floor so I could literally turn turn the dial <laughs> with my foot. Yes. 
So oh. I wouldn't have to get up. Oh, you clearly didn't Terrible. play as many of these games as I have over the nope. years. Nope. You played a lot of Tetris, though. Uh, Tetris 2. <laughs> I played yes. a lot of. I just like the, the way that one worked. I had an old boss. I don't know why I got it. And he would have the same lunch every day. Right. Uh, he's since retired, but um, uh, he, his wife would make him a peanut butter sandwich, and he'd <laughs> yeah. have a banana. And he played about 25 minutes of Tetris every lunch hour. Oh, wow. Without fail. You always knew exactly what Brian was doing <laughs> every lunch hour. And how good was he? I don't know. Because, Must have been pretty good if he played he, it every day. he had an day. office and he would just play it in his office, you know, by himself oh for the most part. Um, I don't know there if he got go. good at it, but obviously that was his, to be. his meditation, his zen, right? Yeah. To kind of relax and, and not worry about things. But You'd have to be decent at it. Well, you would after, over time. I'm sure he wasn't bad at it. Yeah, but yeah, yeah he'd, he'd, he'd have like his banana uh, and he'd be uh, tapping away on the keyboard. Oh, so. there's a whole row that I haven't been exploiting. Yeah, it's funny that those extra colors. Yeah, it makes it look like a wall. Oh, I'm just... Terrible, <laughs> terrible. For once, I found a game I might actually better be better than you. Had. Probably all these games would all be better. All the gem games? I don't know. Yes, you've played them a lot more than. I know. Yay! It's pretty good at knowing matches. It's pretty amazing what people can program on the 2600 in terms of logic. Ah! Oh, this is on a lower level than you were playing. You just gotta go. keep practicing. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> it is a good game though, and I, I you know like what? It's exactly. I, I like really it's... appreciate how the gems change as you go level to level. Like you always need yes. something to distinguish each level. That's right. And um, colors or yeah. shapes. Yeah, and it's nice that that the little icons for the gems change. Got a double. So you said this. Match. This is using 4K. No, the original version of it. Okay. Uh, is a 4K. You just. Um, so, but it is included, like the 4K version. It's just like very. Oh, um, oh get something. What should I get? Blue. Whatever, whatever. Yeah, green. Oh, it didn't level. give me any combos. Any. <laughs> that was. T oh, no, look that at that. That's a combo. Oh, instant, instant replay. replay. How do I. Oh, you have to hold it down? So I did get it. Nice. <gasps> that was a really good combo. It was. Yeah. So I guess it. it, it congrats. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna die very quickly now. I've blocked off part of. Oh. No, we're done. We're done. Awesome, James. <laughs> that one. That one that move was, was awesome. awesome. <laughs> the rest was not. But it's good, and I like that you can play with the level because yeah, when you start at level one, it's a little slow. Oh, slow. left left difficulty rotate down. Right difficulty replays on. So we did have the replays on. So that's oh, kind of cool. And um, very cool game. I like that a lot. Down and fire for <laughs> mini game. I like that a lot. So this is the mini game. The mini game? Because it doesn't have it doesn't have sound. Oh, it has sound. It doesn't have some of the options. Like it doesn't tell you how many are left. Oh, I see. So is it using up less? Less uh, memory. Memory, okay. Yeah, less storage space. Gotcha. Because there's competitions um, from time to time. To it's like, keep the storage space down? Yeah, fit yeah. it in this size. Gotcha. Um, usually it's demos. Like, what can you do with this system? Not a game, but a, a demo. I'm doing better than by not watching. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's good. We're done with that's that. That's very cool. Yes, that is exactly what you would really want from... Mm -hmm. A game like that. No, it's great. Um, so the next uh, game we're going to be playing is Chunk Out, which I also have a cartridge for. No, we're done. We're done. <laughs> Don't make noises while they can't so see it. So <laughs> mean. So mean. So this is another one I have a cartridge for. I love it. Yeah. I always like having the cartridges nice and supporting physical hardware. Yes. supporting the programmers by yes. buying their games. Yep. It's nice to have the hardware. It's nice to have the physical. It's a really funny cover on this one. It's very 
very blurry. <laughs> you do have to edit all of them together. <laughs> there yeah, we go. I think that's awesome. There we go. Chunk out 2600. Oh, 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 missing the music. Well, they can hear the music. Uh, Look at those colors. Yeah, this is That's gorgeous. Very colorful That's game. That's really Look at gorgeous. That. Yeah. Wow. Look at the range. And they didn't even it... know Atari had that much range. <laughs> oh, Atari is one of the most colorful game systems. Of that era kind of thing? It, or, it was yeah. the most colorful for the longest time. Uh, that's really loud. Some games are quieter than others. Yeah. Depends where you set the volume level. Um, yeah, Atari had 128 different colors, okay. and that it that's ruled high. Yeah. for the longest time. Yeah, 128, then and 256, and then. Oh yeah. Yeah. And you can see there's a nice black line in between yeah. to really make it stand out yeah. really nice. You can't do vertical black lines like that too easily on the 2600, but horizontal, no problem. So let's get playing Okay. to get the music off because that's really loud. So what am I doing? Uh, let me jump oh. into gameplay. Gameplay. Uh, moving around and the colors are changing. <clears throat> oh, this is all like written very weirdly very weirdly um okay in chunk out you take on the dangerous role of commander brock starblaze as he attacks the defenses of legendary legendary zotec homeworld using your precision atari joystick <laughs> you will help him oh we don't have a jo atari joystick plugged in um you will help Guide him guide the CX-40 Void Star's photon laser device to take apart the Zotec pulsar fields particle by particle. Um, I believe you click on matching things. Yeah, but nothing happens. Hmm. What okay. am I doing? It won't be easy. The pulsar fields get harder as further you go. Your Z2PA advanced calculation computer will show you a view of the pulsar field at the atomic level. Each block is a single particle in an overall field. Okay. Particles come in several colors, and those tend to be grouped into larger groups of the same color due to the subatomic structure of the Zotac field. <laughs> okay. The scientific types are calling... Yeah, it's, it's all in code. The scientific types are calling them mi microconglomerate quasim quantum phase packets, but our R&D boys just call them chunks. Each chunk of the pulsar field can be burned away with a nanosecond pulse of voiced star's photon laser. One pulse destroys all connecting particles of the same color. Okay. As you burn away the chunks of the field, other particles will rearrange themselves. Particles of similar color oh. will form larger chunks, and that you is the key to double success. Double click, by the way. Oh. That's why nothing's happening. It doesn't say two, two pulses, it just says one pulse. Uh, so one kind of selects it, and then the next yeah. one is do it. Okay. Particle, uh, skillful... Oh, I see, I see, I see. Skillful use of the photon laser will allow you to combine and then eliminate all of the particles in the current pulsar field. And then it's further down into the Zotec defenses. What was that? Me. What? I thought I heard a beeper. Did you set a timer upstairs? No. Okay. Uh, as you systematically burrow through the pulsar's fields, reach the homeworld, and the war is over. The further in you go, the tougher things get. The inner defenses of the Zotac homeworld are very tricky. Scans show the particle distribution cut becomes very difficult, and the chunks get continually smaller, forcing you to use all of your abilities to combine them into big enough chunks. No one ever said this would be a cakewalk. Yeah. So you have to yeah, I've, kind I've of get some strategy. Yeah, I figured it out now, but it would have been good to know that before we start started. Oh, no, no, it's Okay. Because it kind of falls and collapses. Yes. And, like, you've got red on the right and red on the top left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I get that. <laughs> Is it only three, or can you do two? Hmm? You can do two, but you, you can can't do, do one. I right. Think I don't. When, so that's the problem. You don't want to end up with single blocks that aren't connected to anything else. That's basically right. the strategy. Yes. So. 
Um, so there are... Oh, okay. So you st we started on actually level four. Let's see. Oh, that's okay. Because <laughs> usually default games yeah, are B B B. <laughs> oh, it goes in. Interesting. Yeah, oh yeah. All these games I've collapse I've played in. a very similar game before. This is a... Definitely, this definitely. Is like, yeah, I've played these before as well. There's yeah, tons no, I've, of these. I've done a terrible job of this, but that's okay. Because most of these are going to be adaptions from very popular puzzle games to the 2600. I think most of these games are. Okay, let me set it to level one. No, 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 no. no, no you no. can keep it at a high level. Nope. I get what this game is about now. <laughs> that's so nice. Oh, that's what those dots in the bottom are. This is very nice blue to gray transitional dots. Yeah, that's a little easy. Oh, level one is very simple. Maybe it goes to level two after you complete it. Oh, yeah, okay. Maybe not simple. No, you just get rid of... Oh. Mm -mm. Mm, I'm not going to tell you. This is too simple to give hints to you. <laughs> yeah, you have to kind of be careful at the last bits. So what are some of people's favorite puzzle yeah. games on any platform out there? Mm. What is your... Because you've played some puzzle games. What was that? What was that kind of fighting puzzle game that we played on the phone for a little bit? You had shields. No, you match oh, yeah. them. Connected up shields. It and was stuff. the type of game that it just increasingly gets so hard that you will you, like. There's no end to it. You yeah. just always die. It's a matter of how far you get. Yes. Um. Because there's like I don't remember what it was called, it's but like it was a good game. And yeah. shields. And you would uh, pick up special um, defenses that you could em employ and then, like, destroy everything. But you, you were connecting skulls, and every time yes, the skull skulls remained on the bejeweled. screen... That's another one. Be yeah, bejeweled. That's a very popular... I'm going to have to look it up. Stratagems? Stratagems? I, I've heard of that one. Well, we just played Stratagems. Sorry. Stratagems uh, is very much like columns. Well, it's very yes. much like a lot of... Uh, you gonna play? Yeah. Next level? Level two? Uh, yeah, level one is... That's level two. No, it's not. Yeah, because I, I won level one. So it didn't just stops. It move? No, it just oh, stops. Oh, I see. It's like a single game, I think. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, so let's do level nice. two. What are the settings? See, it's another early game where you have to do switches. I'm gonna look up that game, because we did play B that B quite extensively. There we go, level two, green. We did a lot. Don't oh, so this has three colors. Ooh, so let's do some obvious ones. I'm trying to think. I have played this exact game. Oh, I've I've played this too. Ooh. Yeah, in a different format that or one. on a different system, that but one. I can't remember. Um, yeah, I'm going to look up because I am. One. That game was quite good. So we do two. Uh, let's get this red together. You have to be careful. Sometimes it's better to go from the top down. Yeah, because there's um, chain but reaction. You have, to, you have to keep in mind what colors you want to get together lower down, right? Because yeah. the last thing you want is, like, say, that green one at the bottom. Right. Right? So you're going to want to get rid of the red so the greens are in contact with each other. Yeah. It's, it's challenging. It's challenging. So Mr. Fix likes Bejeweled. And that one's fun. Yeah, I that one's yeah. a classic. A bit, yeah, Atari a classic. Spot um, didn't say what he liked. Very, but... It was uh, very much like Home Zone Game Gear, yeah. Uh... Uh, Mr. Fix also liked Bubble Breaker. No, he has he has a game almost like this. Oh, like on this the phone. as Bubble Breaker. Yeah, yeah this one's a, a or, kind or, of a generic. Or Stratagems. I'm not sure which one he's referring to, but. Yeah. Um... Oh, I think I'm in trouble. Oh, God. Sniffly today. Oh, until we've until hit, they... until we've hit the fall. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe, maybe. Oh, I think I'm okay. <sighs> Lucky. Level two. Okay. Now we're moving on to level three. You can play the next one. I'm still <laughs> looking up the game. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Level three with one, two, three, four colors. So it always adds one more. Clax. Clax is a fun one, too. And Tetris. My favorite is probably Tetris, too. 
which was on yes. the NES. You did you the like NES. Dr. Mario? Is that one you really liked too? That's uh, okay. I, I like it, but I I'm not very like, good at it. But, I wasn't uh, really super enthusiastic about it. So is it good to go it's for big, <laughs> big matches first? Because that kind of puts a lot of them together. Dr. Mario. It is a good game. And good music, too. That is a very fun game. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. scrolling, scrolling. Who, who, who knew I had so many uh, Is it installed still? No. Oh, no uninstalled. But, but, oh, no. Um, it will show. So many. <laughs> Google is good for keeping track of everything you used to have installed. Every, so. No, just everything. <laughs> they want to know everything. Ooh, I don't... Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's do this. Let's do that. <laughs> Bye. Oh, red, good. Ooh, I may get it yet. Ooh, maybe not. This is bad. No, I'm dead. I am yeah. dead. Yep. Yeah. It's easy to get to this. Dead-o. Oh, it, it knows. It knows when you're at a stalemate. Okay, your turn on level three. Okay. Now I will look up. I just can't remember what it is. And uh, I'm gonna look up that game. It was a good game, though. It was a good game. <sighs> so, so this game is Chunk Out by James Todd. Um, I don't have many notes other than the because I was gonna go off of that, so I might read some more. But we should at least win a level three. I think. Um, I'm just going to search on Google for it, not search my uninstalled games, because I, I, we both played that for quite a bit. Um, it had skulls, so I'm going to put skulls, potions, matching game. I bet that'll get it. Oh, not mating game. <laughs> How did it miss the C and the H? Dungeon Raid. Dungeon Raid. Yep. Very good game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it was more than just matching. It was it was strategic matching. Yes. That you had to get potions and let's see if I can remember. Oh, here's all the instructions, but no picture of it. So yeah, if you want to play a really good matching game for a phone, oh yeah, there was bombs, skulls. That one looks a little different. Hmm. I guess there's different variations of it, or different skins, I guess. Oh, there's tons. Oh yeah, there's one. Coins, swords, skulls, potions, mm. and the swords you needed to build up to get the skulls. I can't remember what the potions did. And you could buy things too, and you could use. Yes, you well, could you, you, build you up would your get potion. special special um, powers, and you could use them to say destroy all the swords on the screen or destroy all the skulls on the screen. Oh, and and um, okay. so it was is it right. slightly RPG like and and a little and, bit. And you would build up your own stats. It's it was. Yeah. A very, very fun game. Very fun. And it would just increasingly get harder and harder. Every turn, the skulls would damage you. Yeah. And so if your damage went to zero, your game was over. But more and more skulls would end up on the screen, and they would each individually have a defense and an yes, attack. Yes, and you have to break them down. And you'd have to break them down. So if you didn't break them down in the first turn, they'd start attacking you. And yes. It was really good. It's a really, really fun game. I supposed to says I was I got too good at Scrabble. My friends stopped oh, playing with yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. Scrabble's one of those games that you're like usually you're either really good at or you're just a normal everyday person. Like there's no yeah. Or you're terrible, like you're spelling cat and hat. You're like, oh my god, I only know three letter no, words. But I mean the the <laughs> point of Scrabble isn't necessarily to have the most no. sophisticated words. It's having the words that give you the most it's about the high combos score. and getting those combos boards. Combos and the highest and having um, and latching onto somebody high, else's high point letters in your in your words and yep. yeah and continuing somebody else's word into a triple word score as well. 
Yes. Using up the, and knowing all the two and three letter words that include Z's and Q's. <laughs> yes, chi. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. Mr. Fix, hey, you know when you've had too much of a board game like me when Monopoly comes to blows. Monopoly usually comes to yeah. blows. It always comes to blows because somebody's going to lose terribly. And it's one of those games that almost everybody concedes. You never play right to the end. I'll give one more attempt at uh, yeah. this because I think we could do... I, I always got to the end and I usually won. <laughs> right to the end of Monopoly? Like oh, somebody yeah. runs out of money and property? I also like being a banker. I don't know what it was. I always had good strategies. So. But it is long. It's such a long game. <laughs> Wines in the hallway? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> That's funny. I was like, why are you going in the hallway? <laughs> it's her secret wine. Just, just... Too, too embarrassed to put it on camera, so... <laughs> It's only one bottle at a... Uh, one glass at a time. It's, it's a Friday night. What can you do? That's right. <sighs> My work week is over. It's kind of uh, nice that it shows you, like, the selection. Yeah. So rather it, so than it just is a double, doing it. A double hit. Yeah. Like that. And it's like, oh, that's the greens. I'm feeling really stupid that I couldn't f figure it out initially. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that it's like highlight and, and delete. <laughs> right. But that's Ooh, okay. That's Ooh, good one. that was a good one. Yep. That and then the red. Okay, get the blue. That one? Yeah. No. Both blue. Both blue. Uh, Green to get the brown. The brown that together. One. And then you, you'll you get that brown. Oh, you're doing very well. Got it. Yeah. Should we go for level four? Or... Yeah. Woo! Level three is done. <laughs> I suppose I've never seen stratagems or chunk out play before. I three play three dots every night well that is coming yeah <laughs> i've never played any of these games before so it's all new to me uh except chet chetri 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 which is tetris everybody's played tetris mm. of course everybody's played tetris uh i think aa no bb there we go press button another good mm. Oof, this one has a lot of colors Astro Nomad has joined us in the chat. Hello, Astro Hello. Nomad. Today we're doing an all puzzle day. And so it's a theme night. I like doing theme nights sometimes. As long as it's not too many, like puzzles kind of all go together. Yes. But if it's all shooters, I don't know. It kind of gets <laughs> tedious. But the all these puzzle That's games are a little bit different. I mean, there's all a lot of matching stuff, but... Um, that's what a lot of puzzle games are for simpler systems, is matching. Um, what was I going to look up? Nothing. I was going to look up anything. So, so far we've played, um, this is the second game. Uh, we've played Stratagems Deluxe, and this is Chunk Out, if you haven't been watching. Which I'm, I'm guessing you wouldn't say, hey guys, if you've been watching, watching for a half an hour and then <laughs> decided to say, hey guys. Um... And also we uh, announced, while well, we're talking about the, these socks that I got recently. Yeah. They're Itchy? too short. Oh, too short. Oh, yeah. They're like, and these pants ride up. So <laughs> constantly exposing my ankles, which is gotcha. terrible. It's naughty. I'm sorry to hear. Ankle exposure. I think with other pants it's fine, but these are like tiny socks. These are no, too tiny. They're more, I was afraid more, of that. Yeah. I should be wearing my Atari socks. Yes, you or should. Activision I don't know why socks. you're not wearing your Atari socks. So I used socks. to, and then I, now I've forgotten. I keep, I make sure I wear a good t-shirt. I did miss one. I did miss a t-shirt. Um, you two missed days, what? Two episodes ago. You missed I, a t-shirt. I didn't wear a themed t-shirt. I think it was last Friday. Yeah. It's terrible. What? How could that happen? I don't know. I just wore a normal t-shirt. <laughs> not a video game t-shirt or a geeky you know processor 6502 processor chip <laughs> <laughs> which the Atari doesn't have a 6502 it has a 6507 but um, that is besides the point it is a 6502 with some mm. of the uh, screwed wiring cut I know, wiring. Pins I, cut. Yeah. Oh, you are screwed. Uh, well, you can get a couple I more. I can get a couple more, but I'm not going to... You can get the green. Gonna... 
but that's about that's it. About I think it. you're done. Yeah, I'm done after this. And it knows. It's not terrible. And it knows. Well, of course it's it so knows. Smart. It doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, it's pretty smart. I, I'm not it, saying it's not smart. It could be like, no, you're done. <laughs> you're stalemate. Smart. Okay, I can't guarantee anything here. Um. It's it's tough. It's tough when you get to uh, four colors. Yeah. Not possible, but. You have to look for the ones that are really far apart, like this red. I remember there was a time reds. where I played a, this game on some other system. Yeah. And I, after a while, you do figure out the strategy for it, but um, yeah, I like, don't remember anymore. Like either going for big ones, going for small ones, going for the top, yeah. going for the Sometimes middle. Sometimes you are just unlucky. Sometimes it's better to do well, the top okay. down, but try to set things up at the bottom. But I don't know. Sometimes it's just luck, too. Ugh, that didn't yeah. join the purple mm. at all. No, this is this is a disaster. <laughs> a disaster. A disaster. Get the brown. Get this blue. That's not too bad. That should put some purple together. But I want to get that purple. Ooh. Get the red and you'll get the purple. This red? No. Oh, this red. Oh, yeah, I could wait for that extra red. It's you might purple. be okay. Who knows? Uh, or nope. Not. nope. There is one solo red up there, but I, I don't know if you'll get it. But anyway, if you bring the red Maybe together, I should get this red. Yeah, get that red. And hope that I can get the other reds together. Yeah. Eventually. Well, you've got the. Well, now you will get the purple. <laughs> uh, Oops. Too quick. Uh, no, if you get the purple, you'll bring the this blues one? together. Oh, that's one. Yeah, but I can't get that blue, and then I'm dead. It's over. It's so over. You, well, okay. Uh, yeah, you are. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I can't. If I click on the blue, it's I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. I get the green and get the purples, but yeah, you won't get all of them. Beto. Dear, dear. Getting close. One more. One and more then attempt. We'll move on. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my nose is so ready. I'm so sorry. That's oh. okay. Colds. It's game over, man. Game over. <laughs> it is. Boo. We have one more attempt. So, oh, Drex. We've put the camera in the center. Straight on. How does it look? Does it look better? Because we can just look at the game and look up. Look at the game, look up. And it's probably better, like, looking straight on as well, so that it looks. Yeah, R.I.P. Bill Paxton. He was an awesome actor. Did he pass away? Yeah, like oh. uh, two years ago. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, no, I, recently. I, I knew that. I'm like, did he pass away recently? Well, because it was a quote from Aliens. Uh, Drex always saying. Fair enough. <laughs> um, what TV show was he in with the polygamy? Oh, what was that called? Big Love. Big Love. Big yeah. Love. He was really bad. good in that. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Yeah. Bill Paxton was an awesome supporting actor. He was he was good as uh, as the main actor in Big Love too. Yeah, he could carry it, but he was a very good supporting actor. Yeah, yeah. he was awesome, awesome in Aliens. Probably one of my favorite in Aliens. He had the best quotes. He was very quotable. Yeah, yeah, that is better. I always looked at the screen as though it was the camera anyway. Oh yeah, so it's a bit a bit more natural to just look up because uh, now we have everything in a line. The chat is there, so this is me looking at the chat. This is me looking at the game, and this is me looking at you. <laughs> Astronomad says, I love being married so much, I got married twice. <laughs> <laughs> he was also starring in Twister, which I didn't see because it looked very silly. I didn't this see Twister. Like a, no, you know, I didn't an action see that one. disaster movie is like, yeah. why would yeah, I no, go I see that? Not too into. You know, straight up Hollywood action films. Try to avoid them as much as possible. Getting tough, but it doesn't look too bad yet. Oh, the colors are very different on the broadcast. It's so hard to make them the same. Because on here, the kind of pink ones you're seeing on the stream are are more red, and I think that's probably the more true color, you think? Pink ones? 
Like, oh, it's red on here, yeah. but pink on the stream. Yeah, it's more red. I yeah. think that's a that's... better blue, a better blue, a better green, a better brown. This more looks way better. Maybe I can change it right now. Oh, no, it's going to cut out. I won't do it right now. He was also in the right stuff. I only really, really know him from Big Love and Aliens. Oh, it's gonna be too hard to get those. Oh no, no, no it's, done. it's done. We're done. It's pretty close. Pretty close. That's pretty good. Excellent. That is a fun game. That's a really fun game, and I love the colorfulness of it. Very colorful. Very. Big chunky blocks. It looks like it's all done with Playfield, which I'm get. It probably is. Yeah. Um, fun little music in the beginning. Super colorful. That one. Yeah, I like that one a lot. So the next one we're going to be playing is 2048. And the rest are on the Harmony card, which has cat hair on it. It's not surprising. Not Pixels, surprising Pixels upstairs in his chair. He oh, just, is he? He's yeah, not participating today? Not participating. He's like, puzzle games. Yeah. Not at all. Colors. Squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, colors are good. So don't start it just yet. What am I looking at? Uh, 2048. You are not even close. You have to go to get back out, back out. How do I back out? You have to go back to the top. <sighs> left, no, left, left, left. You can do it at a time. There you go. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. Okay, keep going. There, nope. Too far. There. Press that. Go back to the main menu. This? Click. Click again. No. Click. See the dates? Those oh, are the shows. Oh, I see, I see, I see. There you go. I make it easy. Is it the 14th? Too easy. 3.S? No, 2048. 2048. There we go. The bin? Yep, the bin. Press the, the bin. bin. 2048, 2600. Oh, jumping right in. Okay. <laughs> uh, this one is 2048 by Chester BR. Uh, that's his name in the Atari Age forums. I'm going to turn that up a bit because the other game was very loud. There we go. So have you played this game before? Yes. I, I have. Oh, good. Because I have not, other than just briefly. Yeah, what is wrong with my system? It's really showing on these games. What do you mean? Look. Look at the brown. Oh. What is going is on? That's kind of strange. Ooh, I'm going to have to ask the experts. It's really showing up here. If anybody knows what is going on. This is not an original Atari game. This has been on... Oh, tons of platforms. Tons yeah. of platforms. Like, mobile games. Mo I, yes. I played it. It's like swipe, through... swipe, 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 swipe. Yeah, through mobile. Um, so this... For sure. When it was released in 2014, Chester BR posted in the forums. He says, I just released 2048-2600, a port of the 2048 game to the 2600. It is a very simple program with lots of to-dos, but I had to release it while 2048 is still a thing. I think somebody else made another version of this game and I should have got it for this episode. Um, hmm. Maybe I can get it for the end. I am almost 100% certain that somebody else made this game as well. Let me just quickly look that up. So I don't want to miss out on that. Anyway, uh, its source code is freely available, and since I could not have done it without any many useful tips, tricks I've learned from this form, I wanted to share it here first. The ROM is attached, but the source code and more information can be found here. And then he provides a link to it, and we'll also read that. I'm going to look on Arena Foot's massive list of games because he makes sure he doesn't miss any. Go load up the newest list from yesterday. I looked at it, downloaded it. As everyone on the plan else on the planet, I got hooked on 2448, amazed by the variants that it sprouted. 
Its simple yeah. rules and graphics are one distinctive characteristic. It's so simple, I thought, that it really could be done on an Atari. And once you have such an idea... That's the end. <laughs> yeah, that's right. This is a version of 2048 for Atari 2600. It took me about 16 hours of work to get a playable prototype and about 50 hours for the final version. Spread over a couple weekends and nights during which I refined the core game, squeezing features like sound, two-player mode, two mode, and a high score. During this period, it briefly made it to the front page of Hacker News, received a lot of great feedback on Atari Age and RVG, and got a couple of contributions, bug fix, PAL support. The 2048 source was also helpful, even though I had to rethink the whole shifting merging strategy, it provided a nice foundation with very readable code. Um, since you know how to play this, <laughs> there's a lot of crazy instructions here. So maybe you can explain to the audience how this is played. Well, you're shifting. So every time you shift the board, you're basically, if you think of it, as a flat surface that you're tilting. So anytime two similar numbers tilt into each other, they add yeah. up. So if you went to the right, that it was two twos yeah, and I'm about two to, fours. I'm, well, I'm not quite dead or to yet, the but left. I'm very close. Um, so every time you tilt, so for example, if I tilt up, my twos combine into four. Ah. Um, if I tilt left, my fours combine into eight and my twos combine into four. So the idea is... Um, What's in this? It tastes very funny. It's fizzy water with a bit of regular water and ice. That's all okay. it is. <laughs> It's waters. It's, it's not really fizzy. Waters in different states, carbonated, non-carbonated, <laughs> and frozen. So. Oh, my goodness. Um, There's no yeah. carbonation left. <laughs> Probably tasting that well, leftover. because I had that little bit of carbonated water in there, oh, so okay. it probably tastes a little funny. It ten The it carbonation makes it taste sweet. So um, Anyway, uh, so I believe the concept is you want to get to 2048. And I personally have never gotten to 2048. Uh, it's very hard, I guess. Uh, you know, you just, and and you very closely get to the point where, like, when you think about it, once you start getting into higher numbers, that higher it's number, not much room. the higher number takes up a square for a until long time, right? you get to that higher number again, and yes. it gets it harder and harder and harder. And so it's completely addictive. I don't know if you can make it. Maybe you can. I don't know. <laughs> but, um... But it's a very, very addictive game, and it's extremely right. simple. It is just tilting. Simple just concept, tilting. hard to yes. master. There is another 2048, but uh, there is no link, unfortunately, in the big... It's in beta. It says it's in the Atari Age forum. Let's see if I can find it. See, I got 256. I'm getting there. Find it. But, oh, that's but good. But it, it, it does take a while to kind of build it up and get there. So. This one looks really interesting. Okay. But this is great. It's great. Yeah. I mean, it's a simple it's, game, and yeah. they've, they've done a really good job. Yeah, I just found it. Thank you, Ground Trooper, for they finding that. Really yeah. good job. And I will download that. We Excuse will me. play it at the end. Excuse me while I look off to the side for a second. And I download the other version of 2048 because I wouldn't want to miss out on comparison. Is this the newest version of his? Oh, no, beta 2, beta 4. There we go. Of course, Arena Foots. Replying to him. Uh, okay. 2048, I think it's called 2048 for, for BCS to distinguish it. This one came out first. Every time you press a direction, all numbers on that side move to the opposite side. Yeah. Like numbers combine, un unlike, unalike do not. Yeah. Object is to get one box to 2048. 48. So you're up to 256, so yeah. that's a lot more doubling. Yeah. So 256, 512, 1024, 
and then 2048. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So there's like no. four more levels? No, and I cannot think... I, I actually got really far, but no, and I've never... I've certainly never won the game. Okay, so I have it ready for the end. Or we, actually, we could just pop it in after this. So it's, your board's pretty clean, though. It's pretty empty. Is that also a thing to do? Is like make sure, don't let it accumulate. Well, yeah, that's that's what kills you. Is if if your twos end up hidden and blocked. Right, like now they're like not you want to get all the twos. Just keep keep mashing the twos into each other. But I'm sure there's more sophisticated uh, approaches. Oh, and Astro Nomad uh, posted the original yeah. person. And it was an online game, I guess. Yeah, I, I, I remember playing that game. Uh, Gabrielle Cerulli. Um, created by Gabrielle Cerulli, based on 1024. So he wasn't even like... He was originator of 2048. But somebody made 1,024 before that. And concept similar to Threes by Asher Vollmer. So, I mean, every game is like an inspirational thing from another game. Nothing. Yeah. Very few games are like Tetris, where it's almost based on nothing. But even Tetris was based on these shaped blocks that he played with as a kid. Mm. No, it's very few... Uh, ideas or inventions come from absolutely nothing that aren't based on something else or building on something else from before. Yeah. This is not going to end well. <laughs> it's going to end soon. Yes. Yes? Oh, that's oh. dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> Explosion. Sorry for oh, everyone's ears. That wasn't bad, though. You should have a try. You haven't played this game before. I'll play it briefly because it is yeah. a fairly it long a really... game. Well, it's not that long, but mine you won't be it's long. It's simple. Well, so 2050, uh, 256 it was the furthest I got. 256. But... So I haven't played you start it in a while. With it's a great game. Nothing. You just. So if I press left yeah. with the two fall so, to the so left. So play with it a little bit, yes. Okay, it does. So two. Then I want to keep that open, in the open as much as possible. Well, no, okay. So one of the things to consider. Two, four. One of the things to consider. <laughs> Is every time you slide, yes. like when it, when the when the board starts getting fuller, every time you slide, mm. you want to make sure that at one of the empty like um, if you don't have many empty spaces left, a two is going to end up in one of them, right? Slide up. Oh. Right. So you also want to try Oop. and multiply your numbers so they're next to each other. That's the other aspect of it. So. If, go, it, well, Fine. Kicking ass. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, but it, I I'm mean, being it's, a bit reckless. But, yeah. Well, uh, you can be reckless, especially at the beginning. You can just kind of flow through it. But when when it, when your play field starts to get tight, then you have to be very a little bit more careful. Right. But but you can see it's a very simple game, and it is it is it is like you're tilting a board back and forth. Yeah. So so if you're tilting left and right, nothing shifts up or down. But oh, I supposed to. You're giving away my my talking points before <laughs> before I've even got to the game yet. <laughs> Come on, give me a chance. <laughs> Shift to the right. Right. Shift to the right. Okay. And then if you shift up, you'll or down, you'll get the sixty. So. Down and I'll go down. Down, I'll get it. Go no, no. But if you go down, you'll get the four. Yes. And then you can combine that to eight. Bugs. <laughs> Little flies are coming in. Oh, oh. sixteen. So you're always trying to make sure you to can... try and get them together. Where where you lose is when they end up spaced apart. And so that's that's part of the strategy too is is right. to not have them be too spaced apart. But again, I'm, I'm not that good at this game. <laughs> but it is fun and is extremely addictive. Yeah, because it's just a simple movement, right? Excuse me. Mm. Ooh, 64. Oh, 
on being spaced apart. Eights. Mm. Bonk. <laughs> it doesn't like you not combining something. Mm. Bonk. It's just telling you you didn't combine anything. Every time you don't combine Bonk. something, it, it adds is a another, bad thing. It yeah. adds another two, so your playing field gets smaller. Ugh, I'm gonna die pretty soon. See, oh, Arena Foot has to go. Bye, Arena Foot. Leaving work. Okay. <laughs> Are you watching this at work? <laughs> Good on you. <laughs> <laughs> we encourage that here. <laughs> yes. 64. 128. Good job. What did, you got to 256? 256. Sorry. Yeah, I can see how this. Bye. <laughs> just don't want to do it on, on right in front of the mic. Oh. Yeah, that would be unpleasant for headphone users. Yeah. No one wants to do that. I'm doing a lot better than I thought I would. Let's say that. Oh yeah, it's not, it's not, conceptually it's not a hard game, but you just no. get to a point where your play nothing. field gets screwed, really. Yeah. Yeah. It's getting, getting tight. It's yeah. getting tight. And as, and, and again, it's all about having things next to each other so they can combine. Yeah. And then sometimes they start getting staggered, and then it all goes to heck really quickly. So. To heck. To heck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got some 64s. Must. Combine. Combine. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, 256. 256. Nice. Oh, that was probably the wrong direction. Go left. Oh, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. This is the kind of game you get it on your phone. This is, and, yeah, I and can three see it hours being goes goes by, and you're like, "What just happened to, to my life?" Because <laughs> because you just get so addicted, and you're just so focused, and you concentrate so hard. I love puzzle games for that. <laughs> Biggest time wasters. Up and up. Yay! Look at this. Good job. Will I make it to five twelve <gasps> on my first ever game? <laughs> But no. mm. 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 it's getting bad. Left. It's getting bad. No right. Or... No right. Because then I can do the sixteens. Remember, you want to get rid of the twos. The twos kind of get in your way. Yeah. They're just as important as any other mm. number, I think. Ugh, it's getting, but it, when your twos get stacked, tight. that's when you get in trouble. I don't think I'm going to make it to 512. <laughs> it's just too many. It's just too many. It's getting too squished. Too squishy. Mmm. I go right if I go left. Go right and then left. Left. Get the eight seeds. The oh. Up. Yeah. Or down. No. Or yeah. Or down. Yeah. Which way? Mm -hmm. If I go right. If you go down. Go down, and then right, or left. Left. You got the 16s and the 32, then the 64. Oh, I messed oh up. you should have gone up. That's okay. Oh no. Now what should I do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need those 32s together. You will get can't. them together. Uh, at least I can get those twos together, but. Um... Go to the right. And 
then up. And then, and then left. And then, yeah. And, up. and then up. And then up again. Up again. Uh, that saved you. <sighs> yeah, it helped a lot. I think you've beaten my last score, so. Oh, I with don't know my, what it was. With my help. Rina Mine was foot, around tw tw 27. Rina Foot wasn't keeping score. Oh, no. <laughs> 20. It was around 27, so. Oh, wrong move. Remember, going, yeah, you want to bring them together, because some, yes. yeah. Oh, could have gone, yeah, there you go, up, there you go. <laughs> I haven't played this in forever, but it's all coming Go, James, to me go! Now. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Fix, for the encouragement. Oh, bonk. Ooh. Oh, oh, no. Still alive. Some big, lots of different numbers happening now. Go, oh, we would have done the opposite. It's okay. That's why I'm beating you. <laughs> no. You're beating me because I'm helping you. Ah. <laughs> it is sometimes easier to help as an observer. It than is, it is because you see the move. <laughs> right. right? Right? Oh, yes. 16, so Gotta love 13. it though when you're almost full and all of a sudden you get a load of combos. <gasps> there we go. Oh, two 128s and a 256! Okay, how can I get those? You need to shift around a bit. When you suddenly get a load of combos and completely empty the board again and continue, yes. Yes. I need to get that 512. <laughs> Even though it's so far from 2048. Go left. To get the twos. Yeah, go right. You go up. It'll get the fours, twos. The eight, so go up uh, to the right. Now we'll get the two, three, six out of the way. Uh, ooh, ooh, yes ish. If, if I go left, left, it'll kind of line them up a yeah. bit. You just have to, sometimes you go in circles, that helps. the twos and the four yeah, or down yeah, doesn't matter up they're kind of closer together now <laughs> but then if you go left down, down. <sighs> so close so you're getting there Go down, down. Go down. It depends oh, on where they put... I could do it. Left. <gasps> you can't get the 256, but that's okay. You'll figure it out. Should I go down or up to combine those? Uh, down. There you go. Up? Up. <gasps> Here it comes. <laughs> the 512. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Anything from here on in is just bonus. <laughs> yes, Atari Spot saying, I forget how often, but every now and then you get a four instead of a two added to the really? board. Uh, I'm not. Four? I haven't seen it in this Atari version though. Um, you may have missed that. The, the the handheld game definitely does do that. It uh, it periodically throws a four in, but I don't know if I've seen a four pop up. Yeah, you know, you're going to have to keep your eye out for it, because, uh... <laughs> yeah, to get back to 512 then becomes a huge feat. You can see how far oh, it goes. Oh, my God, yes. I'm pr pretty sure I got to 1024. 
Really? Yeah, on the on the on the phone game, but I never made it to twenty forty eight because that takes a long time to get back there. Yeah, it just takes a whole nother round of what you've done. And then, and then you have to do it all over that. again. Yeah, and so it takes a long time, really. Like this, the first build-up is not so bad, but then it just... Yeah. But I dare you to stop playing, because you can't. No, you can't. You can't. Once you get sucked into it, it's like... Oh. Oh, my gosh. Very, you did very well. Good job. 5-12. 5-12. Thank and you, Mr. Fix. And Yes. Good job, good job. So we're going to compare this to another one. We're not going to play the other one fully through. Mm. But let me just pop it in and load the other version. Just really quickly. 2048 4 VCS. Uh, it's good this doesn't take too long to transfer over. Must be raining outside. The streets sound wet. It does sound wet outside. Mm. That's good for the plants. It's been a dry summer. Yeah. It's getting wetter now, but okay. Hold down the button. Second one. Okay, down to nine fourteen, or up to nine fourteen. Then twenty forty eight v four VCS. Down, 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 down. There. Yep. Load it up. I mean, same concept. 2048 for VCS. Very cool. So let's go for it. It's, so it's an, another version of the same game? Yep. Just a different look to it. Different sounds. So this one's bigger. <laughs> it's bigger. But I mean, it's going to be the same, right? So this is a lot more, it's a lot bigger to, to look at. A little slower for response time, eh? It is. Yeah, definitely. So this was made a year after. Um, let me bring up info on it. In uh, 2000, uh, this is by, by M. Locke Moore. Hello, I'm a new form forum member and michael mike lockmore losh i'll post a longer intro in the introductions blah 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 as i was playing my new atari flashback 5 i started thinking it should be possible to play my favorite smartphone time waster 2048 on the 2600 console that's exactly what it is <laughs> and i found the atari forums tutorials and references i can thank andrew davy kirk israel daryl spice jr for some really great tutorials and sample code sv ollie random terrain and blah blah blah, blah, blah lots of other people uh, after not long after I started to look how I might implement so maybe he was making it at the exact same time as the other person was making it and just didn't release it until later because he doesn't seem to reference the other 2048 that exists or he didn't know it existed I mean, yeah that happens but if I was going to make a... a game I would definitely search to see if somebody had already made it on the t but well, if it's, it's an, practice if it's, if it's an exercise it I is mean... it's his first ever game yeah. So good it's, for him. it's it's probably it's, a good it's one a to do. It's a very functional game. So. And yeah, the numbers are bigger. Ah, more of a good thing, Mister Fix says. Good game, I suppose to says. Thank you very much. Yeah, I did really well. Way better. But I mean, getting to thousand twenty four, and then, then yeah. twenty forty eight yes. would be like. No. It would take forever. It's a long term thing. You need to save fu function on that at that point. Yes. So, yeah, same same idea. This is nice and colorful, too. The The numbers are a lot bigger on this one. Sound is sound. You know, you don't want anything too crazy for sound on this. Yeah. Just a nice, simple... I bet this won't uh, go nuts if you die. Won't go... Explosion. You never know. Okay. Okay, die. We have too to late. keep going. Too late. No, too no, late. you can't play this. Over again. You can't play this for half an hour. They're gonna <sighs> bore everyone to death. We already played this twice. No fun at all. Nope. No fun at all.
turn it off. Okay. Oh. Hold down the button. <laughs> Hold down the button. No, we can't play that too many times. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so the next game we're going to play, let me get my notes up on the screen, is th Three Dots. I keep looking at it going, how do I say that? Because it's dots. Three Ooh, Dot how S. Mondrian. I like it. Very, what is it called? Mondrian. Mondrian. Mondrian yeah. art, yeah. Oh. Ah, it's the artist. Wait a second. Let me get it up. And when you ordered this, when you ordered this cartridge mm. from Atari Age, each there's like four or five variations of it and it's a random which one you're getting the cover art see the cover? oh the cover oh, yeah i see so this is made so the by cover sorry when you say the cover you mean the opening screen or not you the mean opening what's screen. on the cartridge what's on the cartridge yeah oh, cool. so if if you wanted to uh how many would you have to buy to get like a definitely good chance of getting all five covers a lot um because it's like Oh. oh, I saw a video on this a while back. I know. Because you have a one in five. It involves factorials. That's what I remember. Because five times four times three times two times one. But yeah, but you still are not guaranteed. It's a. It's a. No. Um. Because you could never get it. No, it's, we actually have we. Uh, it relates to my work, and I won't get into that. But no. there is actually a calculation you can do to determine. Um, Statistically, statistically, how many? how many samplings you would have to do, or how how big a population you would have to build for right. you not to see, for you to get one of everything. So, right. Yeah. Okay. Within X percent. Within a certain. Because you could alpha. buy. I'm not going to get into. Because you could buy. I, I haven't thought about that. A hundred of them, and possibly not get the fifth no, one. No, and and um, often. You send in your own artwork. Oh, I did not know that. Very cool. It um, involves factorials. That's so all I remember. This one was released in 2014 by <laughs> Thomas Yentz. Uh, and he posted in 2014, April, April 6th, while waiting for my me next major project to start, I started writing a little puzzle game based on the iOS game Threes. And this is three dots. Hmm. So go for it. Start it off. And also, um, I was supposed to reveal a little bit early. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the original creator of Threes, Ashen Vollmer, uh, Ragnarok, quite a name, on Twitter said in 2014, <laughs> nice. this is the only commercial Threes clone I fully endorse. So he really wow. liked this version. So Good. apparently this is the best um, port. I don't, I don't know this game, so... Okay. Uh, it's a simple but addictive puzzle game based on numbers. Three Dots is the Atari 2600 version of the great mobile game Threes. All game mechanics have been implemented faithfully, and only the display has been changed to fit the limitation of the Atari console. The iOS game Threes was just awarded to Apple's 2014 Game of the Year, so it's going to be addictive. Oh, you're looking at yourself. <laughs> I'm like, no, no, no. In Threes, the top 4x4 four four board is your play field. Yep. Initially, a random set of numbered tiles is spread across it. Your task is to merge the dots and numbers. To help with your merging, the tiles with the current highest number are displayed with a yellow background, so zero. Don't get it yet. A preview of the next tile is displayed in the upper right corner. Uh, gray. gray. <laughs> uh, the color indicates if the next tile is a dot or a two dot or a zero. Okay. If the preview displays a plus, the next tile will be higher value bonus tile. Okay. Rules. Your objective in threes is to merge identical numeric tiles to score points. Tiles will only merge if they cannot move further into the direction they are pushed. Oh, so it's like 20, 2048. Then. Kind of. So I guess... Okay. Uh, you can only merge tiles with identical numbers. The resulting merge tile will be one greater in value than the tiles that were merged. So the ones will become twos. An exception to this rule are the blue and red dots. Oh, the red dots. So those are pain in the ass blocking things? No, no, they merge. Oh, they merge, but they don't increase. They, they just disappear. You, you hit them once, and then they merge. Oh, and then they come on the board sometimes. Oh, so this is like 2048, but there's things that just come it on. It just goes one, one they go each away. side. It doesn't slide all the way. It's not like I said, like the tilting table Your where everything falls. 
Do you want me to f let me fix the stream colors? They this is terrible. Okay, okay, you'll have to stop playing for a second because it will cut out. Okay. Uh, yes, I should change this. So please bear with me as I mess with the colors. And they do look burgundy, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's not right. It should be like bright red. Uh, so filters. That's very strange. Color correction. Shift the hue. Ooh. Oh, there we go. No, that's still dark though. Oh, the purple. I've got the red. The red the red should be more red. It should What's be more that? and then There, that. that's better. That's better. The yellow's oh. really bright. Oh you though. guys can see it real time. Awesome. That's really cool. It's supposed to be red and blue. That and the, is really Yeah, accurate. but the blue is purple there. Oh it is. There's too much red in it. So let me shift the hue again to blue. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah, but then it became burgundy. That is weird. <laughs> it's it's quite off. Quite off. That's better. There? That looks better. Still a little on the purple purple tinge, though. It's still a little burgundy. You want lighter blue? No, the blue was... was that's pretty good. That's purple. That's blue. No, but that's that matches what's on our that? screen. Yes. Well, that matches what's, what's on I our screen. I thought screen. this was RGB. It is RGB. But... There's various. <laughs> Just kidding. There's very. Oh my god. That's pretty good. How about that, everybody? <laughs> that, that's a nice. That's not bad. It's still not very red. Oh my. It should be god. the color of the red in the three. Oh, the, the brightness three is up dot a bit. S. The three, three dots. Three dots. No, do you see the three dots on the screen? Oh. It should be that color. You think so? Yeah. Okay. So that's Sorry, like I'm a. Sorry, <laughs> Backseat uh, color correcting here. better before that's more red there and now the yellow looks a little green but, and bright too I can turn down the brightness and the blue is a oh the blues the blues fine yeah it's definitely a lot off oh now it's much worse <laughs> it's, oh, no, oh it's don't fine. bump me don't bump me don't bump me <laughs> it's very Sorry. delicate Red is a touch too saturated. Okay. That's pretty good there. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, now it's purple again. Red was looking pretty good. There. Deal with it. Is that bad? No, it's fine. That's much better. Much cl uh now it's purple. <laughs> <laughs> that? No, it's too purple now. It was it was fine the way you had it two seconds ago. That's good. Okay. It should be a bit more orange. Yeah, that's right. How's that, everyone? <laughs> Best. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Yes. We're back in business. Yes. It was really weird. And because we're playing very primary color games, yeah. I've never noticed it being so off. But that's really good. We should do a color... I should put up a color calibration. Um, so I can calibrate it. Games look a lot, a lot better now. Even though it's kind of white on the stream and gray on there. Oh, I'll do a color calibration later. But that looks good. It looks good. Actually, it's probably better on the stream than on here. Because I bet those are supposed to be white. And not gray like that. Because look on the, on oh, the stream. Oh yeah, they look really gray. Yeah. Okay, so you guys are seeing it better than we are. Uh, okay, the current score on a white background mm. and the high score on a yellow background are displayed at the bottom of the screen. What? I think they updated that because it's red and yellow on here. Uh, we've created five unique label designs for three dots as pictured below. You'll receive one of these designs randomly. Atari Vox support. Uh, an Atari Vox, Atari Vox Plus, or Save key plugged in the second controller port can be used with three dots to store your high score. And we are using uh, a more up-to-date 
version than the original cartridges, but they have updated. This is version 1.2, so they've updated the cartridges. If you buy this now, I believe. Um, oh, fluffy. Uh, new game starts with reset. Move the joystick to shift the tiles by one. Press fire to undo. Oh, you can Once. undo. Once. Once. <laughs> Once. Maybe that means one level or only once a game. I don't get... Okay, explain the dots, the colored dots again, because they're not behaving like I am expecting them to. What I, like if... Well, how I expect is if you merge them together... Did you win? No, you lost. That sounds like a win. No, no. Uh, dot can only be... Can only merge with two dots, resulting in a zero. A dot... With oh, two? Yes. And okay, that... I need to start over. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Here. There you go. Okay. So if you go down or up and up there. Now if you go up again, zeros. Ah, okay. And zeros merge to one, one merge to two. Yes. Red blue combined to zero. Ah. I wasn't getting that either. No, but, I didn't quite get that, but it but, makes sense now. But two ones change to a two right two, or change to a single one two ones change to a two yes do they yes and not to a single one they don't just merge into one now that like, makes an awful lot more sense to me okay yeah uh digits with the same number could be merged resulting in the next higher digit whenever tiles are moved a new tile is created the new tile appears in an empty space in the column row opposite to the move direction so if you move left, it'll be right. If you move right, it'll be on the left. Yeah. Initially, a new tile can only be a dot, two dots, or a zero, initially, it says. After you reach a four, you will sometimes get a higher bonus tile, which is between one and your highest tile number of four. So they won't be dots or two dots anymore. Uh, when you get up to a four. Is that true? Yes. Now they're giving you zeros rather than terrible dots once you're up to four. So it's not as punishing. Oh no, it is giving sometimes. You get points for merging tiles. The score triple for each higher number. The game ends with no tile can be moved. So there's no game end. No, like it 20, ends. 2048. Well, it ends when you die and you get a high score. But there's no like goal other than high score in this one. Yes. Oh, Astro Nomad's taken off. Bye, Astro Nomad. Bye. See you next time. Thanks for dropping in. Oh, is it my turn? If you would like. Okay. I think I have more wine in my bottle up here. <laughs> oh, they don't merge together when you put two twos. No, they don't. Okay, let's try that again. Up, zeros, zeros. And you have to combine ones together. And the, everything just shifts one. It doesn't like, it's not like 2048 where it all falls to the right hand side. They only move in one. Oh my goodness. And you can only move them. Oh, this is much harder. So if I press left, the zero, oh no, the one, if I press down. Okay, okay. This is much, you have to really rethink how you're playing this game because it doesn't act two to a three, zero, zero. No, now I'm almost dead. This one plays so differently. Yeah, it does because uh, it only moves slightly. One, it only shifts everything down one not a big you're not like tilting a, bo no. a, a bowl or a, a plate no, of it, things because i'm used to the 2048 it takes a bit of getting used to the, the, the change i said hello to atari oh good yeah it's our sick kitty yeah he's not doing so well but it's getting better though he went to the vet today yeah so he's gonna be better soon yeah yeah this he's one he's a little drugged up right now <laughs> I went and pet him, and he he's got seemed some a little... Happy. He's got some happy drugs, so... He, he was, was happy when you pet him? Like, he oh, was just okay. blinking at me, but he didn't move very much. Oh. <laughs> so he's pretty drugged up. 
Poor fluffy cat. Poor little kitten. <laughs> no cats on the stream tonight. I'm sorry, yeah. everyone. Pixel came. No, Pixel was here briefly. He was sitting. He was doing his best. Was he best. on stream? Yeah. Oh, he I was. I thought it was beforehand. No, no. He was doing his best impression of an evil genius cat. Uh, he was sitting right next to you and you were petting him. So. Oh. Yeah. This game's challenging. We need more cats. I, yes. dema <laughs> I demand more cats. More cats. I can go wake up Pixel, but he gets oh. uh, a little vicious. <laughs> he gets, he's a troublemaker. I'd he is. Not... If I bring him in, he'll just start playing with your soundboard. And, uh, oh, we don't want true. that. I could bring, I could bring uh, Tari in. Mm, it's up to you. He should rest. He's, yeah. he's a sick kitty. He would probably just sit with us. Bow. One more for you. Okay. I'm going to see if there's any game variations. I don't know if there... Let's... Oh, wait a second. Let's, let's just see. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's pal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you don't want that. And that's... Oh, you've just restarted me. Yes. Did you restart it? I just did. Atari Spot. He was dressed up a little early for the tuxedo and trophy ceremony. Yes, he He's was. He's always dressed up. He's um, got his tux on all the time. We do have a tux costume for him, which may have to come out for the He's Atari. got a little bow tie. Both oh, of them have bow ties. Oh, they both have bow ties. That would be yes, amazing. They hate them. Yes, but, uh, so they don't last long. No. <laughs> oh, Mr. Fix says the bad news for me today was my dog lost a fight with a skunk. Lots of oh, running. Oh, stinky no. puppy. Poor stinky puppy. Oh no, that is a lot of um, washing the dog of outside. dogs. Yeah. But I, I've heard it does like nothing does anything. Like you no, can. No, they have they have washes like true shampoos, oh, okay. but I I don't think I think it, it only just does a fades little bit. Over time, it's I mostly sure. time that uh, heals skunk wounds. Yeah. Oh, poor oh. buddy. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that, Mr. Fix. He'll be a little bit more wary uh, around the stinky kitties. The, the stinky the kitties. Black and, <laughs> the black and white stinky kitties. Yeah. <laughs> we got her de-skunked. The skunk? Did it work very well? You de-skunked the skunk? I'm kind of curious now. Because I, <laughs> yeah. I assume they... Like professionally? They wash them... Thoroughly. Thoroughly, yeah. Yes. Oh, oh that... Yeah. That's I, a I'd probably do that too. It's like no, we're not putting up with this stinky dog. Oh. He's got to get, he's got to get de-skunked. Yes, they got the skunk smell out of her. Oh well, well, that's good. That's good, good. to know. So that, it worked. That there, so it there are options. Yeah. Oh wow, well, I didn't know that there was something like that effective of of working. That's good. But you have to get it done professionally. I yeah, guess. I was I I was gonna say you probably took it to a dog groomer took the dog I don't yeah know. yeah oh that um, sucks so i know there are some home stuff you can buy but i don't know how effective those are so this one's this one's good but see it's not showing us the next one coming no it's not you're absolutely right is it's that just a gray option? square like is it this no oh there we go red oh it just shows the color of it did i okay is that no, it is showing it. Just like you don't need to show what it is. Like blue is one, red is two, and a gray is zero. It was a gr dog groomer did it. Natural's miracle odor remover. Oh. Nature's miracle. So nature's the dog... miracle, which is what we use when our cats vomit on our carpet. So yes, it does. Very good product. It does work. Yes. <laughs> well, we use the. Not a sponsor. Yeah. Yeah. Not a sponsor, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Um, yeah. When you have two cats. They vomit. There's a lot you know, of cleaning up it happens. anyway. <laughs> it's part of their natural cycle because they uh, have hairballs. Yeah, poor little guys. Sometimes food is in front of the hairballs. Nope, you keep it. No, okay, I, I'm going to I'm gonna grab the um, Atari and see if he's... Oh, you're going to disturb the kitty? Oh, he's, he's in very Poor dumb, kitty. So we're going to see how Atari's doing. See if he wants some on screen. Whoa, that was quite a sound. Let's not do that. Let's reset that. That was very, very strange. Like I fried, fried. Did you fry something? Yeah. Sometimes when you turn things on at the wrong time. Oh, yeah. oh, he's all wet. Why is he wet? Oh, that's just his, his, um, oh no. His it? water dish? Maybe no, no. When he, water? he. Oh, he got some, some liquids. liquids. Yeah. 
to get him some more liquids. liquids. So this is Cheter Cheteria. Cheteria? Cheteria. Cheteria. 2012 by Chris Walton, uh, Zach Matley, and Fred Quimby. And this is Atari the kitty. Yeah. Oh, he is he's a little, a little slow drowsy, and weird. but he's okay. Oh, he's a little... Thank you, Atari Spot. <laughs> oh, thank you, Atari, Atari Spot. It's Atari Cat. He's got some yeah. little cat faces on there. Yeah, That's awesome. I like that. There's lots of oh. love for you. So, yes. yes. Let me switch over the graphic. And there's actually two games in here. Um, and CDW posted uh, recently, which is why we're playing this, because I don't have the cartridge. That's one of my lists to buy. Uh, next, uh, it's now six years since Chetri was released in the Atari Age homebrew store, and until now I've not made the Sorcerer ROM or ROM available publicly. The main reason is that the ROM image is currently not playable on either Harmony Cart or Stella Emulator. It is a very special cartridge. Cheddary uses an uh, EEPROM chip inside the Harmony Melody to store the music and high score data. On the Harmony, this chip is used for the menu system and would be overwritten. Um, so it uses something that the Harmony cart uses for the menu. Mm. So you can't have one or the other. But Spiceware actually posted a way that you could do it. Mm. What you do is kind of temporarily disable your harmony cart and you get rid of the menu and you flash it with just this game's code um may destroy your harmony cart <laughs> may not you'll only be able to play one game with your harmony cart um so let's see what did he say oh i didn't post it completely or did i maybe it's down here Da, da, da. Nope, it's not down here, but I, I remembered that from my research. So you can play this on a Harmony cart if you're willing to take a risky leap and update the firmware with just their firmware gotcha. of the game. So, um, so let's get into it. There's not going to be s music. It's not going to be music. So it's going to nope. be a little different. Is this the right one? Yep. Normally it goes da 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 oh. on the Atari age. And there's amazing music. Oh, never mind. You guys can't see it. Anyway, the Atari, there we go. The Atari age little <laughs> logo came up as, as usual in tons and tons of games. You've seen it before. And then it had that nice title screen and some beautiful color. Look at that. Oh, it looks exactly the same now. The colors are the same on Yay, the stream. Good job. <laughs> Yay. Um, let me continue on here. Chetri uses a custom bank switching format that is not yet emulated by Stella, even six years later. Wow. So it hasn't been implemented. The audio code in Stella has recently been rewritten, and various people have asked if the ROM for Chetri is available for testing. As a result, I have now decided to post it publicly in the hope that this will lead to support in Stella. Developers used it to test a game need needing Harmony Cart hardware. Only the Game Boy version has music. We will get to that. Um, ch 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 Chattery, no EEPROM NTSC. Yes, yeah, so this is one we're playing. Attached files. Oh, yes, here's the Spiceware. So, Cosmic Stardust asked on the 30th of August, a couple weeks ago, if the ARM music generation is an issue, why does the green Game Boy version work? Or the green or the Game Boy version basically running Pitfall 2 Mapper plus ARM code? It's a standard melody board, but uses optional EEPROM to store the music data as well as the high scores. I believe you could replace the Harmony's menu system with CheddaryTunes.image and then flash Cheddary NTSC bin to play the game. But then you'd only be able to play Cheddary. You'd have to restore the harmony to its original state to play other games. I've not tried to do this, nor do I plan to. <laughs> I already have Cheddary Cartridge. And yes, the Game Boy version utilizes stock Activision DPC for the music. You can check that in Stella by hitting the developer key to toggle frame stats. Command L. So, let's give this a go. Um, publishing, Al Yuruso. Artwork, Nathan Strum. Game style. Oh, there's some sound. 
Marathon, Sprint 25, uh, Sprint 40, Ultra, Music Type. There's no music. It even shows down there that... Oh, you can't. You can select no music. Mm. But we can't select anything. Uh, I guess the first one. Let's do it. Marathon. Oh, now we can pick the music. We'll just turn it off. Why? <laughs> no, there's no music. You oh. can't play music. Um, we'll start easy. Zero and zero. Oh, so easy. Um, so down and down... It reminds me of a game I've played before. I'm just yeah, not sure this why. Cheddary is. <laughs> I've never seen the name Cheddary, okay. but. Uh, so. I'm doing terrible. So the name of the game is not Tetris, but to get a Tetris, it's four lines. So really, what you want to do in this game is to not. You want the Tetrises? You want all Tetrises, right? When you... Is that the only way you score? It's the best. It's the highest score, right? Yeah, but I see no score there. So, well, you haven't completed any lines. I haven't any done anything lines. yet. Yeah. So now I need one more. Yeah. I've been waiting. Oh, and now is the time. So now I can get all four. And that's the biggest score. Now yeah. I don't care. I just want because, to show that. Because no one knows that. <laughs> it's a mystery. Good sounds. No understand. Yeah, good sense. And very nice uh, colors and display. Yeah, really nice sounds. Yeah, very good. Oh, I wish I could play the music. I've only seen it in videos, because unless you have the cartridge, yeah, which I don't have yet, it's been, it has been on my list, but other things have kind of bumped it off. Uh, but yes, it's, it's Tetris. <laughs> and a really nice... Version. Really nice version. Very, it's got it runs nice... very, very well. Yes, yeah, very fast, super responsive. Super awesome. Yeah, it's disturbing you. The drugs making you paranoid? No. <laughs> there was a noise outside. Oh. Eat, they can't see. That you can't see the cat, but. Uh... Oh, he's off to the oh, side. Oh, no, yeah, you can actually. Oh, this is not pointing very nicely. I adjusted it for a little bit. Oh, now I'm losing. Okay, so that's that yeah. version of it. So let's do Sprint 25. Uh, let's add a couple. Oh, What's Sprint 25? Don't know yet. Don't have the <laughs> manual and uh, actually depth of two. So this adds a little bit more of complexity. Ah, oh, it's Tetris. <laughs> it is Tetris. It's a, like... I wish I had the cartridge. When I buy the cartridge, we'll, um, we'll play the music again. Because that's really how you really want to show it. But this is like one of the first times you've been able to play this game. On, on the Atari 2600. On, without having the cartridge. Because they didn't want to you know, release it without it sounding and, and looking as good as, as possible. possible, right? Yeah. Uh. I hate it when you just get a load of crappy ones. Yes. All in a row. Do it. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Good job. Mm. 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 <laughs> Nothing good. Yay. Well, oh, we're getting down there. But still good without the music. You know, obviously. it's excellent. Yay. Ooh, there's a green. It's going to help a little bit. something there. It's open again. Ooh, that may be a bad move. That was a bad move too. Oh no. Let's get some lines here. Mm. Nope. <laughs> oh now I need I am not an expert Tetris player. <laughs> as you can see. Far, far from it. I'm not sure what the... Yay! <laughs> okay. Uh, I thought oh. that something was going to happen, but nothing happened. <laughs> Poor thing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, no, 
know much to say about Tatooine. <laughs> that hasn't been said a million times. Yeah. Other than this is an amazing version, then you probably should should definitely buy it. It is. It's very cool. I think it's amazing that you can play it on the, on the system. On the 2600. Yeah. yeah. People have done some great ports of popular games. Yeah. And all of the games tonight have been super solid versions. Yeah. Of the games that they're um, they're emulating or, yeah. or, or yeah, um, great colors, sounds, um, movement, every everything's really good. Um, so yeah, that's Tetris. Game over. Oh, sure. entering things yay mm -hmm. top oh they're all zeros that's disappointing <laughs> um so let's um press button um ultra i guess because i sprint 40 would seems to be probably the same thing except 40 ultra? lines or yeah let's go for ultra hi no you don't want to be up there am i starting at zero Does um matter? you you can start up a bit to make it a little bit harder five okay <laughs> Oh, the top one must have been like the speed that you're starting on. The bottom yeah. one is the the depth of it. And then let me read a little bit more about this. I think I have some more notes. Oh, come on. Oh, and that was a terrible game. Oh, it's over. <laughs> yeah, let's start try up that so again. high. Uh, funny. The speed is fine, but no, oh. let's not do that. The Soviet Union is crumbling, and so the most brilliant scientific minds have hatched a final master plan of world domination to save the Republic. Their plan is the construction of a gigantic infernal machine superior to all other weaponry. For the plan to succeed, vast quantities of steel beams are required. But the proletariat Funny. have become drunk on the smell of freedom and will only produce small twisted shapes of metal. Your job is to combine these feeble parts into large, sturdy beams. Okay, so I'm having issues. <laughs> what is happening? So that the diabolical plan can be realized. Chetri is a new puzzle game for the Atari 2600 console. The objective is to combine falling shapes of four squares, tetrominoes, into continuous horizontal lines of ten squares, which will remove them from the grid. Chetri is a loose translation of the Russian word four. Hence the four... Everything made out of four um, separate squares into different colors. After midnight here, going to head off to bed. Thanks for the stream. Catch you all again soon. Bye, Atari Spot. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah. Uh, we only have one more game after... What? Not a game, but a variation of this after this. So, a variation uh, of Tetris? Uh, yes. So we'll play that after this game. Um, oh, game styles. Uh, marathon. In, which one are you doing? Ultra. In this game, you have three minutes to score as many points as possible. Ah, nice and short. I yes. like that. Was a timer? D at the top there. Gotcha. I don't know what D means. D. I don't know. Decimal? Decimal? Uh, the game timer is at the top of the screen, and the game will finish when the timer reaches zero. That's cool. Um, sprint 40. Oh, the sprint. In this game style, the objective is to remove 25 lines from the grid. The game difficulty does not increase beyond the level that is set in the menu. The game will finish when all 25 lines have been removed. So, 25 lines, 40 lines, 3 minutes. Marathon is normal. Tetris. You just keep going till you hit the top. Um, game difficulty rate will increase every 10 lines. Every, each time 10 lines are removed from the grid. Uh, good, good, good. Did you, you put too, too easy of a, a game? Oh, you're, it's counting down, so you have 82 seconds left. Just over a minute. So I'll preface the next one. I'll start talking about it. So in 2011, somebody named Babs uh, posted on um, in the Homebrews forum of Atari Age, uh, March 31st, 2011. March 31st. Uh, hi everyone, I haven't posted here yet, but I've been playing some Atari games forever, and I just found Atari Age, which is so cool. 
I downloaded a ton of homebrew games this week and I can't believe how awesome they are. My favorites are Stratagems Deluxe, Medieval Mayhem, and Ladybug. I wish I had all these when I was a kid. I want to get a Harmony Cart. Oh my god, I can't believe how awesome this is. Love, love, love. <laughs> but I have to see if my brother still has his Atari because it was his. All I have is my Game Boy, which still works. I have been learning to program the Atari 26, the 2600 so I can make my own game. For, for it, there's a lot to learn, but everyone here is super nice. I hope I can finish something <laughs> soon so others can play it. Okay, thanks, bye. <laughs> and it continued, and it, everybody said, hi, welcome. And then um, Babs posted like, just like this simple, okay, we'll go to that one now. You're not Z ZPH. Oh. What are you going to put? Tam? Sure. <laughs> Probably best. Tam. Hi, did you use the washroom? I heard him jump out. Tam. I beat you. You want to go check? What? Yeah, I'll what make just sure. What happened? So. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> we have to monitor. Our little kitty's health. Um, so after after a couple posts back and forth of uh, on the forums, no, it was out here. It was out here. What? It was out here. What did he do? I don't know. You have to check. Well, no, but was he in the hall? Yes, he was in the hall. Sorry, cat things. <laughs> um, so there we go. At, so after a couple back and forth, and she was like, or Babs was posting like a simple green screen and saying oh how am i doing does this look nice uh and like really silly stuff uh, and then she and then somebody revealed oh april fools um it's actually a game boy version on the atari 2600 oh. of chetri oh, nice <laughs> Ah. Here. So pretty much what they did is to Cheddary and Cheddary. 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 I tried to, I looked up how to say four in Russian. Um, and it's like Cheddary. 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 Something like that. <laughs> and so they took the game and made everything shades of green. So it's like you're playing on the Game Boy. Gotcha. And it was just like a, um, a April Fool's release. And I thought that was really cool. So let me just read. I think I have a little bit more about that. No, I do not. Oh, no. But, uh, oh, yeah, I do. Let me open that up. So this one has the music because it's implemented in a different way to kind of sound like a terrible speaker. Yeah. Maybe and it was it on does. purpose. <laughs> but and it does. Let's see what the reveal says. When they actually admit to it being a April Fool's joke. There we go. April Fools, Babs is actually a well-known actually a well-known Atari Age member in disguise. You suckers will fall for anything. Disclaimer, I have no secret knowledge. Matt Babs may, may or may not be a well-known <laughs> Atari Age member. Um, somebody said, good job, Babs. Suddenly, Babs is very quiet. <laughs> uh, yeah, I uh, said, um, are you allowed to start an April Fools joke before midnight the day before? Well, yeah, yeah if you finished the April Fools joke on April Fools. That kind of works. Uh, and Random Terrain said, yeah, you can set up a joke a week ahead if you want, or do something embarrassing months before, then use April 1st to try and get out of it by saying it was all a joke. Although nobody else was in on to verify. Uh, the joke in this case might be a fake newbie account created by a well-known Atari member. The newbie goes from out knowing absolutely nothing about assembly language to having a pretty much a full game completed in a few days. <laughs> does not happen. A uh, four in Russian is unpronounceable, I suppose to say. <laughs> Funny. Uh, acoustic guitar said, I thought, holy cow, that girl is learning assembly language fast. 
Uh, that's funny. The game itself, however, was posted on April 1st, so it's actually the game. Um, wow, trick or not, this is a cool surprise. This plays very well and moves fast. I love that this is a port of the original Game Boy version, using the original model's green screen as imp inspiration. Very clever. Um, well, very impressive. This is excellent. Uh, and that's about it for their talk. And then they just talk about the actual other game. So I think this one was actually released before, if I'm not mistaken, let me just check. Yeah, so the April Fool's game was released before they released the full version of the Tetris. There was still, it was still a work in progress. So it was kind of a double joke. It's like, oh, this is, here's our Tetris. No, it's not actually Tetris, it's Game Boy Tetris. I suppose I always thought this was monochrome green. It's actually four shades. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, because if you think black and white's not actually black and white, it's more like black, shades white, and of gray. Black, yeah. Shades of black. Shades of black. And um, and this is not, you know, green. Isn't that just a, green? Shades of gray. Isn't that a Eurythmic song? Is a what song? Shades of gray. No, Annie Lennox or the Eurythmics? Maybe. I think so. Let's see. Or it could be an album. I can't remember. Sounds more like an album. Yeah. So, sounds like a good... Of course it comes up with 50 shades of grey. <laughs> yeah. Well, I might put in song. Probably a thousand people. Uh, no. No? Maybe an album. It's not by any likes or anybody else I know. Hmm. So, album, Fifty Shades? or Not Fifty. Just one. Shades of Black or Shades of Grey. I can't remember what it is. Shades of Grey album. Of course, original motion soundtrack. No. A Christian alternative rock band no. called The Choir. No, that <laughs> Did would not be what I'm referencing. <laughs> I think it's something else gray. Let's just type in gray. And I guess there's only there's only one option of this. I've never seen the this is a bit bright on here. Doesn't seem to be getting any faster. Maybe it's oh it says four. Is it? I think you're up on level four now. I've never seen the difference green yellow your Atari shows. It's very, uh, oh, it's it looks yellow, right. but it's not quite right because it's a little oversaturated, I think. Uh, the stream. Yeah. It's much more muted. I'm not going to play with it anymore. No, it's much more muted on the screen that we're, yeah. we're looking at. It's um, a bit bright. Hello. Yeah. It's a bit bright on the stream. I'm going to calibrate it next show. I'll put that on my to do list. Hi. Got our other kitty here. Pixel. Yeah. Hi, Pixel. Hi, Pixel. Oh no, we're gonna get flagged for having this song. Oh no! We might. You think? I don't know. I hope not. Will YouTube flag us? We'll see. Will Twitch we'll flag see. us? We'll see. Hopefully not. Hopefully it just... Actually, it's pretty low. We'll see. I don't know if somebody will claim this song or not. Um... So you'll have to stop at some point. That's okay. It just keeps going. Yeah. I don't think it's getting any faster. It doesn't feel like It does like say it's... five. Yeah, but it doesn't feel any faster. It's not getting substantially harder. Maybe yet. it's a really slow ramp up. It could be. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Kill the game. Well, you can. No, no, no. Just kill it that way. Just kill it? Yep. Down, 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 down. Let's see how it ends. And the music continues. 
Okay, just leave it on there. Excellent. Excellent. Ooh, so that it? was our last game. Oh. This for our puzzle extravaganza. Woo, puzzles! First, uh, first edition of puzzles because there's lots of puzzle, <laughs> puzzle type games. Um, so what did you think of all the games? Uh, Stratagems Deluxe, very good representation of matching of a game. gem game yeah yep. actually i thought it was very colorful very good i thought yep. it was very good and and just the little details of going up the levels and changing the characters yes, of the gems and, that was nice um it was really well done yeah yeah um chunk out excellent very good very colorful very big. i mean they're they're all based on games that have very good gameplay yes so and, that was already built in i think they've all been executed very very well too yeah translated like all really of them well. All of them are good. Um, I've never played uh, three, three, three dots, three dots yeah. before, and so no, I don't know I've what never, the original game plays. But the rest of them, similar. I've played versions of them. So twenty forty eight, very addictive. Oh yeah, both versions were good. Yeah, one was bigger than the other. One was yeah, you know, more responsive than the other. Yeah. I, these yeah. are all very simple. I thought the games. first version was better, actually. Yes. Yes. Yeah. A little bit more a little sophisticated, quicker. a little faster. Yeah. Yeah. But um, they were all very, very good. Yeah. yeah. Three dots. Um, challenging. That was a very different mm. game where you had the colors and then had to match those up. And then, yeah. And of mm. course, this game is amazing. <laughs> Chattery. Yes, Chattery was good. Um, but we'll probably play it again briefly when I get the cartridge. Um, after I come back from Portland. Mm. Um, so, yeah, great overall. overall um, yeah, we're still on. Yeah. Wrap, yeah. <laughs> wrapping it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, running a little long. Yeah, that's okay. I, Arena Foot drove home. So, yeah. so I always try and estimate. It's like, oh, how many games? How long are we going to play each game? It's so hard to know. Yeah. Um, sometimes it runs a little short, but usually it's, most of the time it's exactly on time. Mm. But this time it ran a little long. Um, but welcome back, Arena Foot. <laughs> um, but yeah, really good um, bunch of uh, puzzle games, obviously, because they're made by really good programmers and yeah. they're modeled after really, really popular mm. phone games. Mm. Um, so some we've got a lot of really special shows coming up <laughs> that are not scheduled. <laughs> they're just gonna That's, be sometime in the future yes yeah um obviously the wizard of war arcade that'll be fun that'll yeah. be a really fun because it'll be two player simultaneous simultaneously what with the atari vox mm. um i'm waiting on the splitter and i think they're finishing up a couple more things before they want to sh want me to show it off on the show um then there is also the unnamed uno cart mm -hmm. and that's probably pretty much as soon as i get the uno cart he's very close to having um his demo version of the game going and let me just take a look also there's yeah there's um dan kitchen's two games mm -hmm. that he's making um one is of course uh keystone capers 2 which is going to be renamed and then there's also the Titanic game, where we don't know if you sink the Titanic on purpose or try and avoid the icebergs. Oh yeah, or... we were we were trying to uh, predict what the 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 purpose of the game was. Yeah, so yeah. he hasn't quite revealed that yet. Or are you trying to save passengers? I don't know. From or drowning? you're just trying to avoid um, obstacles on the ship? Because you are trying. The premise he's revealed so far is you're trying to get from Europe. To the u.s mm. in the titanic so mm. that would lead me to believe that you're not trying to hit the icebergs you're trying to avoid icebergs yeah and maybe keep passengers calm or i don't know <laughs> um we're going to be playing ladybug at the end of this month mm. for a homebrew tournament round four and that's going to be on our day our friday okay yeah no no i was going <laughs> to sneeze for a second okay there. yeah um Sorry. so that's on the 28th <laughs> mm. of this month mm. um we've got a halloween special that actually falls on halloween wow and that's going to be uh i think erlen and i okay it's on a wednesday uh what else so i actually i do need something from you guys i need some suggestions for halloween games mm. halloween homebrew games um preferably not hacks 
Um, we could resort to hacks, but I want original Halloween ho homebrew games. Are there any? Arena Foot will know. But <laughs> anybody else know? Oh, yeah. And we are gone. Not two weeks. No. Just next week. Yeah. So two shows, not two weeks. Yeah, two Wednesday and Wednesday. Saturday. We won't Friday. be around. I don't or know. Friday, sorry. Wednesday and yeah. Friday. We'll, we'll Wednesday so we'll be Friday. back the following Wednesday. It will seem like a long time. Mm -hmm. um, because uh, we're going to world premiere of my feature documentary film, Yay. which is very exciting Yeah. in Miami. So if you're in Miami... <laughs> draw me a line i don't know we're gonna be pretty busy yeah um but it, it's been a culmination of many years of work to get to this point so i can show my movie so that's very exciting yeah um and oh, i can smell terrible things from cats yeah or Cat it's outside meat? or it's that tree that actually smells. It could be outside <laughs> uh arena foot i can think of a few hacks can't recall any Humber halloween games yeah that's it's funny there's think. always lots of christmas and and like snow themed games but halloween, yeah tons of tons of christmas games yeah so there's the name of my film it's a perfect 14 yeah a perfect 14.com with one four um, if you want to go look at it, yep. Um, yep. Big not related. Not related to video games. Nothing to do with video games. So related if you're expecting specifically that, to fashion and modeling. So yes. Yeah. So so kind so of a warned. totally different. <laughs> a totally different. Uh, it's just my day job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is for fun. Yeah. Um, uh, so yeah, I need Halloween games, um, and of course we're going to be doing um, holiday games at mm. the end of the year. Uh, that's going to be fun because there are a lot of those. Yeah. And that's why I've been yeah. not playing them. Yeah. We did play that elf game. Where it's nice to theme things. Yeah. And we'll play that yeah, again sure. too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then also at the end of the year, we're going to be like doing a really quick recap of the best games that we played all year mm. that we think nothing to do with that we the Atari enjoyed Awards. The that, that we enjoyed the most. Because <laughs> I don't have a vote. You guys have the vote on that one. Yeah. Um, that but we we'll enjoyed vote. the most. Uh -huh. Like, what are my favorite games? What are your favorite games mm -hmm. we played? What are Erlen's? What are Darcy's favorite games? Also, there's something to games that stick in your brain after you play them. Yeah. Sometimes you love a game. Sometimes you're like, you don't love it so much, but then you're thinking okay. about it all the time, which yes. is kind of funny. So, yeah. 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 So they may not be even complex games. They may be, yeah. like, really simple, like a puzzle game. But yeah. it just, like, stuck with you and you want to play it again. Yeah. And we'll play them like briefly, obviously. We're not going to play them a ton. Just be jumping back, uh, through them. Yeah. But that'll be a fun kind of wrap up of the I year. I think so, yeah. Because by then we'll be doing the show like nine months. I think we've been doing about six months now, about yeah. 50, 50 shows. Lots wow. of fun. Has it been that long? It has been. That's crazy. <laughs> it has been that long. Well, I think six May, months. May? Mm. June, July, August, September. Oh, well, maybe not six months. Yeah. But yeah, about half a year. So, lots of special games coming up. Oh, if I could only spell arcade correctly there. Uh, and Wizard of War. Arcud. Uh, I want to make sure I don't miss any. Oh, we got some trackball hack specials. I'm going to be picking up a mm. whole bunch of trackball games. Do we have trackballs? I do. I hope it works. I don't know if I've ever used it. I would probably tr test that out I first. should <laughs> test it before I buy some. Yeah. So I can pick up a trackball if it doesn't work. While, okay. we're, while we're in Portland. Okay. Um, and Don't tell them first. They'll upcharge you for it. Yeah, I know. So. Oh, here he comes. Stop, slap on the yeah. big sticker. Make it 50 <laughs> We bucks. heard he's looking for a trackball. They're only about $30. Yeah. So they're pretty cheap. I don't want a yeah. box or anything. Because yeah. I don't have any room for boxes. And of course, in late January or early February, we have the 2018 Atari Awards chosen by you. Yes. And we're going to present them live on the air. And that's going to be mm. super fun. And am I supposed to say Millipede doesn't work with Atari Box? We'll have to unplug it when we play Millipede. <laughs> Does it crash? Hmm. Um, I love the demo of very 2600 Christmas music with all the compromised <laughs> in tunes. That yeah. Arena Foot, that is the book. That is the book I suppose to. I don't a very, know. What? Oh, no, no, no. I don't oh, what? I'm working on the Holiday Homebrew book. Arena Foots, working on a, a holiday themed book. So if you oh, get that done, that'll cool. be a great guide. Yes. Or you can just send send like the list to me, mm. so I can use that as a guide for nice. the games we can play. Nice. That'll be fun. Excellent. We just need a Halloween list. Yeah, we really need a Halloween list. I don't list. know. Are Maybe we... I'll have to do hacks. What about hacks 
what about original games? Oh, like no, we're a homebrew think... show. No, 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 no. I'm not original? saying. I'm not yes. saying we are going to do them. I'm saying, are there many there are. original games that are. are Halloween themed? It's Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Really. And there's Halloween, both very rare. Really. Super rare. Are they any good? Or are they terrible no, games? That's why they're, they're not so rare. good. <laughs> and they're only available through mail order, I believe. They were. Yeah, so super wow. rare. So how much would they if we ran across them? But it's, they're not homebrew. I know, I know, <laughs> so, I understand, I oh, understand. Oh, I don't know, hundreds? Really? Yeah, they're pretty rare. Yeah. Wow. Haunted House, that's another original one. Yeah. Yeah. By Atari. Yeah, yeah so there's nice. there are a number of original kind of scary games. Scary games, yeah. Yeah. But uh, we'll have to see what people say. I'll put the word out in the forums as well. Mm -hmm. Um to see if anybody uh, comes up with any Halloween or even scary games with ghosts or like anything in them, you know? Yeah. They don't have to be Halloween themed, like have jack-o'-lanterns and stuff like that. Just mm -hmm. maybe scary games would be fit the bill as well. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, also we might even stream the Atari, our, our own gaming thing that we're doing here as well in November. Oh, our, our retro video game? Retro video game night. Oh. Yeah. Maybe. It might not be interesting. I don't know how interesting <laughs> that would be. No, because it's a bunch of people sitting around. It'll be like, uh, and yeah. noise. And either people it'll just be will, a static will, camera. Either people will want to be on camera or will avoid it like the plague. So yeah. It, that's tough. I don't know. Um, we'll see. I'll, I'll have to think about. I might put. That would be put, interesting. I'll put the camera on the competition know. machine right and i'll post what the competition is and then people can kind of follow along that'd be kind of fun that might work games um, with bats no <laughs> yeah bats are annoying no fun games that's for sure yeah there's uh, lots of games with bats yeah yes um all the games with dungeons where you're initially you initially have to yeah. kill rats yeah kind of... rats bats I, I, dungeons we might <laughs> have to resort that's every game that ever existed might have to RPG. resort to that um yeah, no, that's interesting, well, we'll though, see. about the, the retro game night. You could yeah, do that. Yeah, I've thought about that. Or if you had the Atari set up with the homebrew games, you could the have Wumpus that. The Wumpus game. The yes. <laughs> we played that on Wednesday. Yeah. That kind of fits. Yeah. There's a 2011 game called Cad Candy Catcher. Oh. Oh, you mean Candy Halloween. That kind of works. Yeah. Yeah. It's barely on theme, but it kind of works if we're desperate. We have to get something. Um, so I think that's it for tonight. Yes. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Mm -hmm. All the people chat in the chat. Arena Foot, Mr. Fix, Ice Bosta, Jared Gray West, Ground Trooper, uh, Atari Spot, uh, Astral Nomad, Drexel, uh, Mr. Fix, if I haven't said that name again already. Uh, I think I covered everyone. If I didn't Atari say your name, spot? Atari Spot, yeah. I got that one. <clears throat> it is Halloween themed arena for <laughs> incest. Candy Catcher? <laughs> Candy Catcher, yes. Um, and I want to thank the Twitch, Twitch subscribers AD Man, Atari Spot, A Tasty Sandwich, Carcass, Ground Trooper, Jeffrey2123, uh, Mr. Fix, Muddy Fisher, Soundtrack28, and Tiki Dan K, of course, again. Um, and we will not see you on Wednesday. We will not see you on no. Friday. We'll be back again. In a week's time. In a week. On the Wednesday. On the Wednesday. Not a week and a couple more days. Well, uh, no. Yeah. Because yeah. a week is Friday. Yeah. That's a week true. and four days or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us and yeah. playing some puzzle games. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you then. I'll, I'll be on Instagram and the forums and stuff. and. Mm. Yep, so until then, take a look for some Halloween games for me, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even hacks. Um, so thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you next time on Zero Page Homebrew. Yeah. Good night. Bye-bye.